Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the last point-based tournament for the Challenger League Season 7. And this is probably the most stacked bracket ever on the BCU Multi-Blog. My name is Rick, so joining me is going to be Nick V. And this bracket is just mental. Like, even round one is, is just grand finals material. So, uh, are you excited to watch this bracket with me? Oh, absolutely. Like, we were we were just discussing with uh, Tiramisu, the TO of today, of course, streamer as well. Thank you so much. We were discussing which uh, stream should we have, uh, which matches should we have on stream. And we were like, well, there's so many good ones. Uh, we have to pick one of them. Uh, so, like, Moss of Moss against Kasurio, King Rasa against Yoliko, Kalarith against Drizzy. I really want to see that, but we have to skip over it, sadly. Uh, Zalpok Spotty Land, very good one, which we ha will have on stream and, and many, many more. So it's an insane bracket. I uh, cannot wait to see these uh, players clash against each other for some uh, sweet 2BCU points, of course. And uh, today's match arena, I already see $68 is there. Thank you so much, Goo, again for the $66 dono. Always appreciate it. Thank you so much for uh, supporting the Melty scene, as always. Speaking of supporting, you can also support the uh, 2BCU as a whole by donating to the uh, Kofi, which uh, you could find, I think it's a exclamation mark, Kofi. Yeah, so easy. Uh, and yeah, if we re oh, of course, every single donation will be doubled up until the 800 euro mark. So if we get 800 euros worth of donations, we will have a 1,600 prize pool. So shout out to the 2BCU crew for uh, like doubling a huge, huge amount. Uh, all right, now the price pool for Miltis, it's at like 200, 250-ish euros. So that's huge, honestly. And we could even double that yeah. because we are halfway through the goal. So if we manage to get uh, the coffee maximized, I think we have like five weeks left probably. So still enough time, maybe some generous person just like Goo uh, decides to uh, throw some money at us. And we will have a uh, massive prize pool. So uh, that, that definitely these players deserve. We could, if we could maybe show the point status. At the moment, we have uh, King Rasta at the top alone, and even Persimani in today's tournament. But then it's it's a brawl because we have in between uh, like ten points from thirty-two to uh, to twenty-two, twenty-one. Yes. Even we have nine players. We have from Zephy up until Enon, all fighting, definitely. Uh, there is still a lot of players who can qualify. I only see, though, places 8, 9, 10, and 11 have joined today's bracket. And with a win, they will 100% be in. But second place may not be enough, especially for Khaled. For Khaled, it's not going to be enough. For Enon, it might be. But there's pretty much every single player from first place until 11th in today's bracket so yep. we could see eight of the top 11 gaining points so maybe even someone at like third place or fourth place may even risk being dropped out because mm -hmm. of how many people are in today's bracket and two of them are going to be immediately brawl it out it's kasurio on the cl against mos 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 on the trademark of course trademark not really sure anymore because he also plays mash but right now he really needs those points as you said so he's going with the old faithful one this is akiha against ciel the eternal rivalry of melty and it's moss of moss not getting the opening was kasurio the name is switched it will be fixed very soon but moss of moss will get an opening here gets an oki will go for the mix but nice blocks from kasurio so far but the jump back will dodge the 2a from ciel Instantly, Muscle Moss overtakes it. Has more than half health deleted of Kasurio right now. Oh, I think that the rest will go <laughs> as we speak right now. He has two meter to spend. We'll spend one here. Ooh, not one to close it out, actually. I think he could have, but maybe he wants, yeah, he wants to uh, retain that meter for uh, a round two, which he will get now. She'll be the, maybe a panic option. Maybe just wanted to get the round over with and. Uh... Moss with a uh, good first round, but Kasuri all oh, went for the stab, a little bit too far from uh, the wall, but still the CL player with the advantage, but runs into the DP, fatal counter as well, that is Akeha's best starter, and once again, getting caught, be a lot of damage, 
3.8k into the Oki situation. Still Moss now getting the life lead, keeping up the pressure against Kasurio. One more touch should be enough. There's a grab. Moving back to ring. Blood heat though. Have to be careful, but Kasurio gets a touch. This should be EX into the arm drive. Yes, of course. Good stuff there. It's taking the life lead here. Good stuff. Yeah, well optimized. Trying to get that round back. No shield there though. Could have shielded OS, but didn't go for it. And we will get a arc back from Akiha here. Oh, setting up. I did not know she had that many plus frames. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, tries to BC. It was a B actually. Oh, the DP, the last frame actually got him. Oh, no, no. You're suspended in the air. Well done by Kasurio, but Moss on Moss overtakes it with the insane pressure. I think Kasurio really um, showed good defense at the very end just now. But, you know, it's, it's Akiha. How long can you block her? That's, that's yeah. the internal question here. Was a uh, little bit maybe too late here yeah, for the Germans. Still, though, a game to play. So maybe Kasura has something uh, up their sleeve to uh, to try to uh, put a dent in uh, Moss' hopes. Of course, Moss with... Uh, I don't think they even have any points Ooh. at their name. So, yeah. Speaking of points, we just got a $10 donor by Crux. Thank you so much to the season match, Reno. Damn. So that will be uh, blessed a little bit by him. I'm not sure when Ordainen got a contribution in, but thank you so much as well, of course. Yeah, I think Ordainen was in the week where you actually missed out on the plus honker placement. Mm. So, uh, good stuff. As is uh, Gustav for Moss here on the pressure. Akiha. Oh, 3C, no cancel. Kasurio misses the opportunity, of course. Uh, expecting. Oh, the back. Oh my god, I was so close. And actually hitting the backside of CL. Speaking of backside, there's a backdash being caught, and Moss once again will maximize the damage, 4k into the uh, high low once again, he tried to spend, but still kept in the corner block. Wow, let's go. Oh, that was the triple overhead, not expecting the, the last air dash, maybe. Moss could have uh, could do that just because he was in moon drive. Surio was counting the air dashes, but you know, one short. Lose it around over that, but let's go. Uses the keys and goes for a side switch as well. Nice conversion from Kasurio and yep, went for the jump back. Maybe trying to bait a shield out from Moss, but his defense is immaculate and will get a fuzzy mash onto Kasurio to overtake this game. Ooh, did not really use an Oki there, but it doesn't really matter. He she creates her own Oki as she mixes up Kasurio right there. Four meter on deck for him though. But will he go and spend the meter? I think this might be a good moment to do it. Oh, there's the end though. Sending Kasurio back in the corner, but there's the blood heat. Oh, very risky there, DP. The shield would have blown up most life, but now with respect, yep. No, Moss once again. Oh my god! <laughs> Why 22 to B? That is, that is a gap there, and Kasurio. Going for a hopeful shield and Moss will actually pressing into it. That's 5k damage, I think. Yeah, easily. And lively for Kasurio. This could switch ties quite quickly. Yeah, now it's all tied up. Both players have zero meters, so let's see what Kasurio can do with this. We'll try to snipe him out, pressing a button. This boss is not biting until the very end, getting a fatal counter. JA, no meter though, so he cannot kill yet. Had only one more hit to go, and then he could have gone for the C skill. Not sure if he could get another air move. That was like, literally like one pixel away from the meter, which would have killed in the combo. Moss mm -hmm. trying to turn it around. Moon Drive is available. 10 seconds. The grab again. One more touch will kill even without meter. Oh, one more touch for both. Moon Drive spent. Kasuria trying to get some damage There's a match here. Now. Otherwise, uh, Moss wins. Oh, 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 oh. One second left. What a 2 BC. What a match from Kasuria keeping themselves alive in winner's bracket. Gets a JB Fatal as well, the momentum may be swaying here. Gets also the pick up the 6BC into another Fatal. Oh no, Moss is pressing a lot of buttons. Moss, stop mashing, because you may pay for it. Okay, actually the mash working out there, totally. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, the commentary's blessings this time. <laughs> For Moss this time, let's go. 3C will launch him into the air. No Oki to abuse, but... Oh my god! 
she called it just a hit? Is that the three C? Nah, yes. it's not three C. Last was three oh, it C. is. Uh, the last hit was three C. I think. I think it was two C. Two C is actually really good for Albany from uh, from CL. I have uh, escaped some sticky situations with it. So uh, yeah, understandable. Yeah, Casurio here. Oh, uh, that blood. That uh, last arc. Literally shaking most 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 and another fatal man Casurio with the life lead, a small one, but still something to work with. And Moss feeling the sense of urgency, tightening things up. Look at the pressure, did not confirm the two-way, but it's all oh, the XDP and a very good punish from Moss here. Oh, the drop though, but never mind. Went for the shield, meaning on landing you will instantly get punished. Moss going for the optimal damage here. Nearly 4k. Oh, actually, <laughs> far above 4k. Next touch will kill. Oh my. Yeah, no one blocked that. The uh, Niki ring into EX command throw. Uh, just like that, Moss once again on the set point, but we've seen this situation before. Kasurio was able to turn it around. But around goes Moss, Moss, Moss with that shield B. Good damage and spend any meter. Drive spent. Oh, we're expecting something here, Moss. Getting opened up. Low shield. Was punished by a lot of damage, but still damage that Kasurio will take. Right, let's go for the left, right. Oh, dangerous stuff here, but at least Kasurio makes it unscathed. But the damage or the pressure, rather. Oh, the moon skill. Getting stuffed out. Moss building ahead of Steam. Getting also the meter and the combo. One more touch. Should be enough to be in this situation. Thing. Yeah, there has to be a bait very soon. Like, oh yeah, he was looking for an opening to get the blood heat. But eventually, Moss said, nah, I know exactly what you're going to do. Went for the shield OS. And there we go. Moss taking game number three. That was a very close set. And <laughs> can we just make this a first to five instantly? Like, <laughs> this, this, was, uh, this was crazy. Like, I cannot believe on the very last second he still managed to clutch out the victory of that round two, game number two. That that was uh, that was something, because that was like a last second. How cold is it there? I am sweating bullets, dude. But that's because Please. these these games just get me heated up so much. For a uh, for a game number one, I think we couldn't have had a uh, a better opening. I think because. It was a case of, I think, Moss heavily favorite to take the set, but Kasurio uh, giving Moss a lot of trouble and even looking really good at certain times, especially that uh, second round of game number two, like Moss was panicking heavily, pressing a lot of buttons, getting fatal again and again and again. And uh, game number three was needed to settle things, but Moss was moving on in the bracket and now we're going to have a match which I don't know how we will have round number one. This is losers finals from a couple of weeks ago. The Zarpox against Spotty Land. Just round number one, man. This bracket is obscenely stacked. Yeah, we are going to see if it's going to be CL or ARC in the losers bracket already, as you said. We've met a couple of times before. I think Spotty Land got a few victories. Zarpox as well. So it should be tied up. Let's see who's going to overtake it. You should you saw jump out of the window, that's right. I see your chat message, Rex. Oh, come on, man. Alright, uh, good trade with the Rekka there. BC skill into the DP. Gets punished over it because it was a BC DP. There we go. Overtaking it anyway, though. Zarpox after dropping. Ooh, that was almost the air unblockable. Well done with the shield timing. Let's see what you can do from the neutral. Okay, as in Zarpok, trying to uh, control the neutral here. Couple of keys. Oh, but there's into the JC. Spotty doesn't confirm though. As uh, both players really scrambling. A lot of neutral being played. And now uh, Spotty decides to go in. Oh, excuse me, Zarpox gets a fatal of that 5C. And now Spotty in a lot of trouble. Gets the heat out. Zarpox does not bait. The jump should not punish. Oh no, there's going to be a lot of damage into the multi blood there. The life leads and the corner positioning. One more touch may be enough, but there is no meter available. There's the unblockable one. Grab will take it. 
But the DP and the 214C spot is still alive. Zarpox, what the hell am I saying? There's a hit again from Zarpox. Who's skill spent by Spotty? Oh, catch Zarpox low. Probably trying to jump. Uh, let's see. Already close. Both players were spending a lot of resources. Of course, Zarpox still has the full MD. Gets shield A followed up to counteract his very move. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Spotty Len, I think, tried to reset, uh, thinking that Zalpox would fall attack, which he did. But then Zalpox overtook it instantly with the range on his buttons. Good awareness from Zalpox there. Ooh, tried to catch him with the JB. Spotty Len really fishing for something, but Zalpox not biting that one. Throwing out the fishing line himself. Now Spotty Len is in the corner. <laughs> Went for the MD into the 2A. Got a hit for the extended hurt box. We'll spend a meter here for the last potential mix of this set. I mean, just the first game. It's With not the beat. Good game. Should we see that from uh, Zarpox? Has four bars to work with. Doesn't spend the autograph with the death kill. Shield, shield warfare here. Spotted and still one more touch to get the game. But there's a hit from Zarpox. That's a lot of HP regenerated, and this should be enough. In fact, it is Zarpox fighting tooth and nail. Taking us to uh, round number three, but it's still game number one. Zarpox without resources, though. But will uh, build up that Moon Drive meter now. Will be available for uh, the next exchange, maybe. A spot mm -hmm. in four bars. And Moon Drive available as well. So, uh, advantage in resources for the French player. Yeah, went for the BCDP, but it will not trade clashes yet. This is not an MD. Ooh, the command grab from the air into the conversion. This has to be the kill. Yeah, she can easily do like a 4.5k, I think, with that combo. Very nice confirm for Zalpox. And that's yeah, him these... taking game number one. And like you said, like it, it's still game number one. This, this one, look, uh, the longest game one I've ever seen, pretty much. The uh, CL command grab setups just keep getting dirtier and dirtier honestly mm -hmm. and you love to see it Tomo. it's uh it's really sick oh, to I see cl players get creative they don't play CL, of course. <laughs> but yeah spotted and now in the deficit zark with a good to be here sending the french once again into the corner 1k into the same jump with the jb shield bc out of there what is uh the uh, good movement tool Ooh, the dp waves no punish though i think that was not even a uh invul dp yeah. Ooh, where spotty managed to find a hit this should be the life lead here for spotty although uh very very slender right, let's see the block was there on the overhead so good awareness from zarpox definitely awake oh look at that oh baited out a grab finally zarpox Getting hit there, but the drop combo from Spotty Lamb went for a backdash to reset it. And now finds a hit as well. If you drop this, I am going to slap you around at UFA. But he didn't. I would actually not. He's uh, much bigger than me. <laughs> Wait, who? Spotty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, not in, in length, but <laughs> he's, he's well trained, bro. Oh, I mean, he does love the muscle girls. Oh! Stop. There's the keys as well from uh, Zarfox. Shield B. The clash frames and then the trade and then the fatal onto JA. Zarfox looking to get a lot of damage. This will hurt a lot here. Yeah, 4.3, of course, and the save jump JC. But not less safe to uh, negate the heat. So the grab from Zarfox. Moons are spent from Spotlight. But still Zarfox doing the pressure. The key going to knock Spotty down, no resources left for Spotty land, the jump will not benefit the Frenchman and Zarpox will get into set point with full moon meter, full magic circuits as well, a very rough spot for Spotty land, only one bar and no moon to speak of yeah, absolutely the only moon that he has is in the sky, ooh, almost had the air unblockable I think, but he hesitated because uh, before he went into the same situation. Zarpox shielded and punished it. Let's see though what Spotty Lane can do here. Ooh, went for the low. Zarpox not blocking that one. Let's see how you can take this mix to your advantage because you can't, yeah, you have to do a safe jump because the DP threat is right there. The MD gets grabbed though. 
as Wei Len in a difficult situation. And I think there is a setup that Salfok was fishing for, but no, Spotty Len does not want to do anything with that. Gets a Rekka hit here. Goes for the C skills, well to push him into the corner. Falling JC, very active, and goes for a grab. One more touch, my hit. No shield here. Very good conversion here from Zarfox. Boom. Oh, almost evening up the life. I think so. Zarfox is in the lead. Should be see out of there. Moon Drive has been activated from Spotty. So Crash Trans will be available. JB, but not enough to get the full combo. JC whiffs as well. Moon Drive spent from Spotty land. From Zarfox, excuse me. Oh, 5A whiffs. Oh, it's so tense. Both players one touch away. Time to go for the ground here. Oh. The JP cross up hits, and this should be the game for Zarpox. Ukulaso taking it for the Spaniard 2 0. That definitely did not feel like a 2 0 set at all. Zarpox clinching it. The only the thing ass. I could say is she's stacked in the back, man. <laughs> Oh, uh, Spotty like Land didn't spot that one. Got taken down. <laughs> 2 0. <laughs> and it will be Zarfox going on. You. <laughs> yeah, Pretty much. Yeah. He will go on, though, to face uh, Klops. And I was in the voice chat earlier, and Zarfox and Klops have been uh, playing lots of games together. Ooh, today. Yeah, it, uh, so, I, with. with <laughs> It's a 17-3 matchup. That's all I will say about that one. <laughs> Damn, Sable is that really hard, huh? Um, it's I think it's a polarizing matchup. It it feels quite balanced in my opinion, but uh, generally, like the the air game, it feels like Saber can control the uh, the air really well against CL. Even though CL has projectiles, uh, like Saber JC is huge and Saber JA is also really really good. Uh, what are you talking about on the for match? <laughs> Wait. We're getting the uh, cursed match of all yes, time. Yes, yes. I, I thought you were talking about Klops and uh, Zarfox. Okay, we are heading to Roa and Wark. Okay. This is Magic against Drizzy. This is a matchup that I do want to watch. I've never seen these two go at it. Let's see if uh, Drizzy can work his magic against Magic. <laughs> Yeah, let's see. Of course, Drizzy. <laughs> if Drizzy gets going, he gets going. But the same can be said of Magic Rider. Very steady player here. Rocking different colors on Roa this time. Not really sure what he's trying to go for here. But what he went for was the Thunder. Instantly going. He's, he's doing Twitter combos again. He tried to hit it. He's Knuckles. Eyes. Trying to counter. The King Rasta Sonic. <laughs> As, okay, there's once again EXDP, hard knockdown, Drizzy in a rough spot. Okay, she'll be though. Drizzy will need a lot of resets. But walks into the DP from Magic Rider, that is the first round on the board. Okay, charging contest. Mm -hmm. Who can charge the most right now? <laughs> Getting the unblockable. Oh, okay, okay. Almost got the air unblockable there, mm -hmm. but uh, had landed before the EX needle. Uh, pressure now. Even damage. Air throw to the mix. Oh no, the high shield gets blown up. And this will put Grizzly in one more touch before death. That's a lot of damage. Dude. Yeah, I, th I think Magic Rider is playing really safe because yeah, he knows Drizzy will just wake up anything and, you know, anything is just a guess on your part. So he's like, okay, let me just play this steady. Every wake up will be covered or safe jumped. And Magic Rider easily takes that game number one. Uh, yeah, interesting to note. Uh, there's only three points in between these two players. <coughs> so uh, if Drizzy were to get the upset in this match, <coughs> it could... Uh, maybe lead Rizzy to even overtake Magic in the standings, but right now, I don't look like it. Magic is still getting uh, some damage on the board. Preparing the left right mix. Moon Drive spent, but you're negative. So Magic knows that they have the advantage and they keep up the pressure. Good stagger as well. On the needle. Damn. Definitely with the combo. <laughs> Running all the blue. 
All right, let's see. Ooh, we'll kick the shield. Oh my, he, yeah, he definitely knows the way. All right, let's see. Spit on the fake queen. Throw him down. Oh, don't give Drizzy a chance. Okay, good. I'm dying. Do you know the way? <laughs> <laughs> he knows the way. The charging contest. Spit on the fake queen. Blood heat activated. Shield Drizzy, shield! Shield Drizzy! Okay, no, for the uh, arc drive. Shield B. Devin BC, not a full combo. Doesn't commit to the 2B. But so Drizzy gets something on the board. That, that's a lot of meter generated by Red Arc. The unblockable once again. No reaction. 7 BC. JB almost got the unblockable. Ooh, that was not the unblockable there. But Drizzy is still able to get the touch. Magic time to jump away. The teleport into the DP though. Magic time to take away the turn. But Drizzy with a very good attempt at the comeback so far. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. Try to bait something out once again. Ooh, the pre empty shield, but it was simply a tap shield, so. There was no punish on that. Still got the hit in the end. Luke at the damage as well. Three meters on deck. Uh, yeah, okay. Wait, huh? Mm. Ah, definitely was input there. Yeah. Uh, I think, yeah, I think Magic wanted DP and instead got the EX Hero. He was able to get the comfortable punish. And uh, little set point for Magic. Oh, beautiful punish on the 4BC there. You're not ring in my presence. Oh, paint on the heat as well. Drizzy's habits catching up to him. That was again a good confirm from Magic. For the left, right, the back I just caught. I think this will be enough damage. Barely. Oh, actually, two meter now. I was like, there's no way he's building the second meter, but yeah, he, he absolutely did. And uh, Magic Rider just sweeps the floor with Drizzy. Sending him into the losers instantly. Yeah, the new skills adding a lot of damage. And just like that, Magic will move on in the bracket. Uh, facing off against the King Rasta, beating Moss, Moss, Moss. 2-0 uh, to move up. And we will have probably a Raw Mirror. So that's looking uh, quite interesting. Maybe we'll have Sonic against Knuckles. And uh, yeah. Then we have Klops against Zarfox, which will not be on stream, unfortunately. And Bershko against Naheem. The, 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 the good matches will not stop today. It's going to be uh, banger after banger after banger. So uh, just sit tight, grab something to drink, something to eat. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, we will uh, we'll be going ham today with the last tournament valid for points. And uh, not... Sh I need to check the uh, the points available from uh, how many you earn actually i know that first place is 15 12 10 but i'm not sure how they continue actually uh, 15 12 10 right seven yeah eight seven five five three three wait that we have 15 12 10 eight seven no, I think there's one too many. Oh, there's no 12. Okay, so it's 10, 8, 7, 5, 5, 3, 3. Okay, okay. Just in points. Time. It's just yes. about points. It is. Rexu is, uh, he's, he's like doing live maths to uh, get you yes. guys the updated. I want uh, to have leaderboard. Like, the most updated leaderboard today. Mm -hmm. It's. Okay, so uh, it is see. Nahim and Bershko, and uh, Bershko with the first entry in the bracket, but Nahim has 27 points, is in 6th place, so very precarious position, and he needs to uh, get some points here, and this win will get them at least guaranteed 5th place, just 5 points, so uh, definitely could be very, very handy for uh, the Akeha player. So, Good stuff here from Nahim, taking the life lead, putting Bershko in the corner, getting also the combo. This will not kill Bershko. Okay. Oh no, okay. Uh, Alright, there's the arc drive spent. Nahim now setting up the ring, maybe preparing one final touch. Big whiff on the shield, and then the heat. 
And Burst are trying to get back into it. Good ring usage from Naheem there to keep the spacing. The JB connects. Still not going to be enough, but there's no meter for Naheem. It's a bit too much skill for crying out loud. It's a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's we'll see. Yep, gets in last opening. Naheem getting a quick first round here. Very much one sided. Bursko already spent some meter. He could have had four meter right now, I think, but tried to keep himself in the round earlier. Now takes a lead, though, using some BC skills to get some meter. To spend it instantly for the Oki. There we go. Standing overhead into the punish on that shield. Let's see what the damage is going to be here. Because the mix is here again. Both go for the safe one. Moon drive to counteract it. Ooh, oh, went for the elbow. Instantly yeah. getting some damage on Nahim again. The meter is gone, so no more reversals on that. Ooh, actually, we'll spend the Melty Blood. My yeah. 5k. And some change. What a perfect year for Bershko. So, uh, ooh. With shield. Able to land in time to not get punished, Nahim. With uh, some meter advantage, but not a lot. So, uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Not an EX ring, quite risky, but Bershaw just stares at it. Nahi gets a full combo here. Not a lot of damage, but still, he'll definitely take it. 3.8k into maybe the left, right in the corner. No, keeping Bershko there. Spending the meter. I think some chip damage goes low. No overheads. Bershko getting caught staring. This will be probably one more touch for Naheem to be able to get the game, but there's the uh, good heat. Ah, uh, okay, good block. That was a really good block there on the overhead. Multi mm -hmm. block will be spent though. Bershko will almost level up the life lead. Pretty much leveled up, yeah. Yeah, it's oh. oh. Jumped away, but got hit by the elbow. And let's see how Naheem is going to recover from this. Still has two Jesus. meters, so he might be thinking of the heat, but it's definitely going to be a very... Oh, went for the MD and saw the 2A, but did not actually go for the heat. I think that could have saved his life there. That's Bershko taking game number one. After such a strong showing from Naheem as well in the first round. It was really, really good as well, but yeah, one combo from Bershko, 4.9k damage. And just like that, turning the tides, Bershko taking round, okay, excuse me, number one. Bershko, of course, kind of like a, a spoiler in this bracket because with no uh, opportunity to even qualify, maybe next week they will win the whole bracket, but today they have no points, so the maximum they can get is 15. They will not have their case, but maybe training for next week. Maybe for Revel, as Naheem, the full combo there, 4.1k down once again, starting off really nicely. Let's see if he'll be able to get the game this time around. Once again, with the uh, JB, not be able to kill Bershko though. One touch away from uh, losing the first round. Ooh, will go for the jump there. I think he tried to get the corner steal. Ooh, barely was in the heat range. Otherwise, he would have gotten a hit on Bershko. Again, tried to steal the corner. I really like it. But uh, Bershko just simply blocking high. Made him walk backwards. Back into the corner. Goes for Melty Blood here for some good damage. It's a little charge into the standing overhead. Again, not hitting Naheem so far. Oh. Until the fatal counter happens. Don't think he can kill here. Does have a meter to spend. Oh, oh just simply goes for the reset. That was uh, nasty. Cheeky, cheeky stuff from Bershko. Oh, is that on set point? My aim was looking so damn good, but a couple off touches are never definitely not the uh, character to uh, let you get away with things. But Naheem, I think so, uh, rectify that. It's 4k damage on the board into the air throw. Heat immediately though from Bershko. Mm -hmm. One thing, uh, Bershko has heated so many times, but Naeem has not been able to punish or even bait a single one. So, uh, yeah, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Bershko, definitely uh, a uh, believer. Speaking of broken, JB. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Just the meter as well. Hard knockdown. The possibility for the mix was for the left, right. No drive from Naeem though. And will be able to invul through the 2A and get the punish. Three cards go up now, Naheem. Better make the most usage of this. 
Goes for the BC, will clash because he was a moon drive. Ooh, actually jumped into the ring and went for the heat afterwards, getting hit by Naheem, who simply only had to jump forward. We'll spend some meter there, going around the board and looking very good right now on the on the meter management side. Yeah, uh, it's a good situation once again, but it was this similar situation I think in the previous game. Naheem with the meter lead, oh, but getting caught with the frame trap to be. Uh, good damage. Ooh, look at that 4.1k. To the left, the uh, high low goes. Overhead, I think, drops the combo though. But a bit risky. There's a hit once again from Bershko. Forward take. Naheem really aggressively, but will get punished. Very unfortunate. Melty Blood once again. Bershko with the life lead now. As that move drive trickling down. Naheem. Oh my god. Wake up throw. Okay. And wake up DP. We are reversing the situations. Uh, let's see what you can do here though, Naheem, you have him in the corner, you have him exactly where you want him. Went for the potential overhead. Ooh, like what Bushko was trying to do, trying to catch the jump there. The heat from Naheem will save him out of some pressure and ooh, jumped back into the Rekka second hit. And now Bushko was trying to be very offensive, but Naheem just went for the fuzzy match. Very well done, well timed. Okie time, we'll get the shield here. Very well done again. I can only compliment him for this round. And Brishko, being taken down this game number two. Very good stuff here from uh, Nahim. Fighting really, really hard to uh, ensure a place in top eight on our side, which guarantees you fifth place. So therefore five points. So a... Uh, very good tally of points will take Nahim to 32 points, which is almost guaranteed qualification. As there's a back throw once again, throws the Mujav activation. Shield on the 2BC as well, Nahim, with the reactions, young man reactions, and also very, very good stuff. It's 4k damage on the board, half life is already gone for Bershko, is now sitting in the corner. Oh god, the heat out still though, Bershko, very aggressive heat. Gets the JB Fatal, but think of hmm. Fatal's Naheem gets one off their own as well. DP is punished, and Bershko playing like a rabid dog, but Naheem able to tame them. Ooh, and again, just elbows into the ring. Ooh, no conversion from Naheem after that. Oh, gets an air to air final hit for the round here. And Naheem, what's that point? Yeah, I, I think Bershko is uh, like. Oh. <laughs> I, yeah, what is he doing is honestly like Bershko kind of playing a little bit too much around Playing for those JCs. I mean JC is good, but will not do everything for you. Maybe do your taxes But it will not win the neutralize easily. This Naheem shield B is good though. Nice run on there from Naeem though Still keeping the corner to Bershko's back for the 2 one for x 5 c the gold button is good for Naheem, has one bot available, one more touch, should be enough, landing JC though, and this could change the flow of the match, very good safety from Bershko. Yeah, but Naheem does manage to get a hit here, and if he spends the meter not drop the combo, he will get the kill here, 2-1 to Naheem, into the Alpha 4 true combo, and that is him going up in the winners finals to face either Klops or Moss Moss Moss. Let me oh wait. No, it's not true. <laughs> Sawpox is actually already there. Klops lost to him. And the 17-3 I said earlier, it was in favor of Klops. So Sawpox really, really taking uh, some good games here. I think he was uh, cheesing him earlier in the game. You know, getting oh, oh Klops, you beat me so much. I can't really Oh, uh, actually, in the round, psych, I'm top 24 EVO, baby. 17th. I think 17th. Uh, 17th yeah. is the GOAT, by the way. Shout out 17th? To I miss 17th so much. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's... Uh, our winner's side of top 8 is pretty much ready. So we have Magic Eye there against King Rasta and Zarpas against Nahi. So uh, all of them have at least guaranteed 5 points on the leaderboard which means that uh that's yeah some very good tally here um so yeah pretty much king rasta definitely qualified magic will get at least 35 points which is second place
Uh, considering Zephy is not in the bracket, and Tintan either. So, okay. Um, Trizzy that means... and Ananan. From the loser side, by the way. This, yep. And Ananan needs these points desperately. Ananan, with a win, <laughs> may make... Uh, the, the, like, in loser side, we have Kaladit who needs to win the bracket in order to have some to start the start of the Uh, Ananan with the PCO. Against Drizzy, who is already in Moon Drive. So much. All right. Which one? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, because Powered Seal is like the uh, the talk of town at the moment. Everyone hates her. Oh, the 3 C from Ananan, the Hungarian Empire. This will not be enough damage, I think, but still will be very close. See once again. 4k one more touch stage up from the screen because she needs it the delay on the 2c that is round one for Emma Hunkinger. really clean with the power seal yeah getting a charge here using the ring that actually goes through the screen crazy i've never seen that all right let's see and then um, instantly overtaking the game with that range, you can simply reset as well. Like, I like that Drizzy stayed in the air for so long, barely dodging all the normals from PCL. But let's see that Blood Heat Bait dropping the combo and again just gets the hit there. Blood Heat completely gone. And what do you do against PCL? Sure, you just run in and die, just like Drizzy did. As uh, let's start from Enon. Going with the power to CL and taking game number one very, very convincingly. See if Drizzy will be able to change something in the second game. So, like, as a person who played CL today for the first time, I was Belm, by the way. <laughs> uh, it is very tough. So, Drizzy, I feel your pain. Well, I believe in you. Let's see what you can do against PCL right now. The only thing you can do is getting hit. The heat was baited. He did not want to do anything with whatever PCL is going to throw at him, but you cannot say no because PCL, she forces her way into it. Closing the gap. Yep. <laughs> Safe jump. Easy. Super jump overhead. Ah, oh, the combo. Oh, but then the mash catches Drizzy on the way forward. Oh, but drops the combo once again with the bait. Jesus, Drizzy is aggro as hell, but Enron somehow one step ahead of everything. And it's set point for Enron, who needs to win this game. Oh <laughs> my god! We are, yeah, we, we are gaming at the moment. Our drive, Ben, Enron. Damn, what an overhead. Drops the combo yet again, not very optimal. With the powered seal, having a little bit of fun, and there's another 3 C end. I am. Uh... Oh man, Drizzy is getting hit by everything here. Oh. Yeah, you kind of have to get hit by everything. And that was a fatal counter grab, meaning that it simply will kill here. Yeah, P PCL gaming. Uh, there's not much you can say about that except PCL gaming. Yeah, PCL gaming so we should be going back to the winner's bracket but there is uh, some big significant changes in our leaderboard spotty has been eliminated by moss 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 so that Damn. means zarpox and uh Ananan will overtake spotty though spotty will unfortunately not be in uh, the top eight or top seven at least there is still the lcq but spotty is out of the top seven a very unfortunate ending to what was real or not an ending but current state i think spotty is one of the players who has definitely leveled up and got some amazing performances but unfortunately uh, out of the top seven wait uh, wait is he confirmed out of the top seven yes because Why? he is at 26 points Zarpox and uh, Enon were behind, and they oh, have because gotten Klops. points. Because Klops and, and, uh, and Enon are still in. And, uh, and Zarpox. Zarpox was behind Spotty, but now he's ahead. Oh, maybe I'm looking at... 
outdated schools. Because <laughs> I'm seeing Sawbox and Spotty Len. Uh... Okay, I'll commentate. They can send a screenshot of Mike Sasha. Oh no, Romerer! Skip! 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 No, it's Sonic Skip. against Knuckles. What do you mean, man? Skip! No. This okay, is okay, the wait, wait, final wait, wait, wait. evolution. Someone, someone sent the stream to Kamora. He is in France. He's eating French bread. And if he watches this, he will throw up the French bread. And he realizes, what is my creation? Oh no, he will he will laugh at you and say, yeah, I meant to do that. <laughs> Ooh, air unblockable with the jump in. Magic Rider showing that no King Rasta. I'm the king of 2BCU. Let me show you why. Went for the overhead safe jump. And again, the air unblockable will hit Rasta here. Almost building three meter. Let's see what you can do about that though. <laughs> yeah, Bari, let's go. Instantly overtakes it here. Only has to spend a meter. Not even gonna do it. He said, I don't need that. The, the damage is right here. Good round number one here for Magic Rider. As the damage keeps on going here for uh, Knuckles. It's the air 4.2k damage, so keeping up the pressure in the corner with shield from Rasta, but not punish the jump shit, but still able to get a touch and will maximize the damage from it. Once again, EXDP, left, right setup, it is available for Magic Rider. Good defense on the cross up, but still the touch here from Rasta, taking the life lead again with the EXDP. Okay, we are. Shield Warfare until it's no more magic. Gets the edge on it. Will put King Rasta with the back towards the corner. Guys, we've punished though. This should be the round, I think, for Rasta. Okay. Hmm. Is that he recovered from your commentary, Curse? Otherwise, you know, he would never forgive you. Ooh, good shield there. Ooh, delayed shield A, actually, against a tap shield from Magic Rider. Very good job by Rasta putting him into the corner and that's an escape from Magic Rider but King Rasta saw instantly what was going to happen escaped the corner himself as well now let's go for the staggers so Magic Rider knows exactly where those are the back dash being caught by the long legs of Roa that's Magic Rider taking the lead right now let's see what you can do with it though the EX to keep up the situation. Uh, Rasta with the back dash into the IED forward, press into the shield! Ah, uh, Magic Rider will get the punish. Probably yes, the XDP once again, left right setup. That heat is still available. There's a blood heat, and now you have to be careful. Don't press any buttons. Oh my god, so pressing. He does not care, bro. It was such a scary whip on this first hit of 5C. Block throws though, magic, I think the life lead, good dash block from Rasta, but still in a huge life deficit, no resources for the Austrian, magic rider trying to close it out, oh, full screen hero, no dice, Rasta can get the punish, no resources to get a lot of damage, so but Abardo will have the corner situation, Rasta does not spend it, so one touch away, spends the moon drop, trying to get the mix of the Omari from magic, is on point, and that is game number one going to the Frenchman in this first game of winners semi-finals yeah right now it seems that power is more important than speed Showing he can take King Arosta down from his throne of course again Magic Rider is the king of 2BCU right now for Melty Blood and he gets an opening here as well. Let's see what you can do. Will you try to get him into the corner? Will you simply go for the C skill into the mix? You will push him into the corner. Let's see what you can do with it though. Went for the save jump into a low. And Rasta, they respect it. Now he is in a bad situation. Simply goes for the air unblockable. And that is only one more hit necessary for Magic Rider. But drops the combo afterwards and then gets an IAD overhead. Rasta not blocking. Maybe trying to look too hard to uh, escape and then he's got his hits on the dome while thinking. Yep, that is a Roa player thing. Yeah. 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 As good as ever. Ooh, shield! Oh, good shield here. 
It's not good for the BC. Rasta, as patient as ever. Oh, but eats the fatal on that 5A. Probably not going to be a lot of damage. Goes for the reset. Shield BC there this time from Rasta. Not willing to uh, keep the back against the corner. Manages to get the hit as well. Mudraf spent to get maximum damage. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of damage. 4.45k into the air throw. 4.5k clean. I love round numbers of multi. Oh, but the Abare once again is good. Magic now putting Rasta in a final guess for game situation. Mm -hmm. Simply will stay the same side. There it is, the heat. I think Magic Rider knew exactly that was going to happen. So went for the MD into the shield. Magic Rider taking a 2 0 victory over King Rasta. Very, very dominant display. Rasta was playing really, really well through yeah. two. But, uh, yeah, Magic was inspired and was able to get a 2 0 lead. So that means that Magic is uh, confirmed to at least get eight points so uh yeah magic is uh pretty much qualified as we've said uh rasta will at least have minimum five points so you definitely... see saphiron has 392 points jesus you that's see, a lot of points that is crazy my my workings are got here um, but yeah, we taking a look at the losers bracket. Bershko and Kalut have been going at it for like 20 minutes now. Uh, so we will have the second winner semifinals of today. Bershko, uh, I mean Nahim against Zarbox. Bershko has been sent to losers from Nahim. Nahim, who uh, currently is at Nahim, 32 points. So that is third place. So that's quite good. And uh, if they were to somehow win, they are guaranteed. Pretty much they are guaranteed qualification. Because they will put uh, eight points to their name. They are sitting on 27 starting. So that's really good. And we are off with our second semi finals. Risk issue. Be there. No punish. Oh, oh my god. Oh no. Oh. 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 Oh my god. <sighs> gone. Let's hope this is not the uh the disconnect. The the internet cuts, the or the PC dying. People are kinda saying that PC is dying. By the oh, Joko! Because Joko's uh, Twitch username is BCBC Airthro, but his main action does not have the BCBC Airthro. That's funny. Why is it actually like that? I think they were uh, a current gold player. Because she can do it there. Uh, I mean, when, when she was powdered CL. Pow powered without the second No, team. it's powdered CL. Like, all PCL players are on crack, for sure. Oh, near a hundred years ago. Damn, man's old. I feel less old now. Oof. And Thank Nanaya. You. Thank you, Joe. Oh, I, you, I hope you're not one of those people who want Nanaya back in the game. I think I think he is. Like, I think it was a, a funny funny stream in the December finals that birthed the uh, Nanaya sticker. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. The, where when Nanaya is like on the uh, on, yeah, the, on the on the match, uh, what what the hell was that? Uh... It was like on some art piece where he when Nanaya was on displayed, and we were like, oh no, Nanaya is coming back to the game, and they were like, nope. <laughs> oh, the copium was flowing that day. Yeah, uh, come on, please add Len. By the way, you cannot add she a shadow. She is in the and game. What, what are they waiting? Like, she, yeah. her sprite is literally in the game, colored and everything. Why is Wait, she not colored? playable yet? I thought it was like yeah. her shadow only. Her shadow, yeah. It's, it's, it's a shadow. Yeah, and Reese, Reese, Reese Beef, Reese Beef, Bite, <laughs> Reese Bite. Yeah, I want her too. I, I, that was the character that I actually yes, liked the most. Is yeah. it the shield girl? Yeah, they, like the violent thing. I called yes, her the violent yes. I think it's she a looks, cello, right? She looks really cool. 
Now, speaking of cool, multi working is cool. And this is our second winner semifinals. Take two. Action. Nahim and Zarpogs, both players on the hunt for points, but. Nahim is quite safe. Zarpox really needs this point to. Uh, because Zarpox still is one point above Klops and one above Enron, who are still in the bracket. So. They need to get as much as possible, damn! CL going under the ring, very, very scary. Oh, okay, to get a touch and a full conversion to stop from this back. Yeah, still has MD active as well, but not using it in his combos to build some more meter. I think he wants to do the optimal damage, there we go, 4.2k will get an overhead, but no conversion off of it though. Did not go for the GC. Let's see what you can do here though. One more touch will kill Nahil. Nahim, a grab will do it. And there it is. Slammed against the ground. And the good stuff here from uh, Sour Fox. I think the very first round. Uh, as Nahim trying to take some pressure. The second overhead is good. And that will catch Sour Fox off guard. Damage for the heat, but we'll definitely take it as well as all of the scoring pressure that is about to ensue. Uh, some good chip damage, also the shield failed to be giving a 500 damage of chip to, to Zarpo. Yeah, trying to go for some air footsies. Wall jumping all over the place. Ooh, yeah, that's very negative. Well done by Nahim. Simply did not press another button after the shield and gets a clean conversion here one more touch might do it good blocks from zarpox though has three meter on deck Sh could be spending in for the heat simply went for the grab there thinking that nahim would go for a grab let's see the pressure right there oh gets a hit what was that range by the way she uh threw her shoe at him i'm pretty sure <laughs> Take back the initiative, beautiful left strike on the super jump. And it's uh, even on rounds. Going to see who will be the one to take game number one here. Ooh, good back from Nahim, but still gets tagged. Zarbox pushing towards the corner with that dash. Oh, okay, high shield. A little bit lucky there that Zarbox did not get a fatal. But still going to be good damage. The EX as well. 3.7k into the save jump JC. No going for the delayed overhead. Good shield from Nahim, but still getting tagged. Oh, the heat will be baited. And this is going to be game one in the books. Sarpox. With two very, very strong rounds. Pretty much perfect, except some chip damage in both. That is game one to Sarpox, who is the one in the most need for points as Calorit has been eliminated. So that ends their dream of qualifying from top seven. They needed to win the bracket. I think no, not even winning the bracket would have let them in. So yeah. GG still LCQ is next week. No punish on the jump shield. Unlucky there from Nahim. So uh also gets to throw tech. Good stuff from Zarpox. Mm -hmm. Good blocks from Zarpox as well. So he's just going to get rid of all the pressure that Nahim is throwing. Look at him. Tetris music play, please. Oh, oh, fatal JB! Stab as well in the corner, probably a second one coming. There it is. Into the full damage. Oh, doesn't go for the EX with decision. Zarfox happy with just the 4k damage. So a good conversion there from the fatal with a lot of damage, but still gets the EX knockdown. Good shield A here from Nahim. Life deficit, but the advantage. On the positioning. Moondrag spent from both. It's DP into the cancel. Zarbox, one more touch. Trying to go for the 5A. Monkey flip. Trying to do everything here. Still no dice. The range just dashes under it. A little bit lucky there from Zarbox. Two BCs going to end it though. And Zarbox now moving on to set point to get a place in winner's finals. As well as eight points guaranteed. And that will definitely. Puts our box in the top seven. All right, let's see how Nahim is going to fight this back, though. 
trying to go for the air to air trying to catch softbox throwing needles but simply did not work out the air grab will though and now gets a stagger 2a into a full conversion and we will be seeing no oh, okay actually he dropped the combo gets a fatal counter but went for the ja as well and that threw him out of it Let's see though, Nahim, very good offense right now. Really showing off, getting the grab. Grabbing some more because I think Zalpox was really respecting uh, Nahim's offense. Of course, you cannot respect grabs. Oh, oh the snipe, but no conversion. Gets hit by Zalpox. Three meters on deck. Might spend it. Probably not though. It's probably safest to uh, keep it. Ooh, no shield there though. See what you can do with this Nahim. You have meter to spend. Ooh, gets the snipe. Trying to jump away. That's side round, but again, the meter management on Zalpok's side. We said last game where he was on stream as well. It, it's so good. Almost full meter, full MD. Oh, <laughs> jump Mirror's cancel edge. saving. Mirror's Zarpok. <laughs> Parkour! Jump over oh, the shield, Zarpox again. Moon drive spin, the back dash from Naheem, the classic. Shield on the keys, and to get the air unblockable there. Zarpox still all oh, on the pressure. The throw from Naheem on the shield attempt. Too busy, but the jump cancels shield. Naheem, the young man reflexes shining through once again. Very good damage here. 2k. Still not over. The left, right set up. No, Ooh. just to maybe go for a bait there. The blood heat from the. <laughs> blood heat. <laughs> okay, we are scrambling. Zarbox was still able to get the air throw. And now one more touch could be enough here for the Spaniard. The overheads are all blocked. Even the lows, there's the heat as well. Nahim, very smart, but still get thrown by Zarbox. One more touch should be enough. There's the moon spent to the DP. Not converted though. Nahim still flailing, still fighting. Two PC again. The clashes. Favor Nahim, who should get the bot here. Not suspended. There's the air throw and there's 60 seconds on the clock. Times of the oh. essence. Beautiful bait of the heat. And two to succeed for the ender. And Nahim somehow claws his way back into the set. That was so, so dire. But we are heading to a game number three. Yeah, really clutching it back in the end. Zopox <laughs> just trying to wait and see what he's doing. Maybe he's uh, using the hitbox viewer again, as we saw in the Discord. Of course, join the 2BCU Discord. It's fun there. All right. Oh, Drizzy, Drizzy, shout to Drizzy. Oh, nah. <laughs> Nahim not respecting the handshake. Does not want to do to deal with it. Got the hit there on the ring. As Alpox was leading forward, did not get anything. Yeah, and you shield a bit too much there. Ooh, reading his mind actually, Nahim. Guessing correct twice in a row. Dropping the combo though. So no air to air. Ooh, Popo dashing a little bit, but. Gets him in the corner, no shield this time. Oh, and Popo oh. dash a little bit too far. Gets the level three on his ass. Painful. Okay, damage. Shield on the JC, but keeps up the shield. And Zarfox can get the punish. Damn, the corner carry. With the bull drive. Throw is whip. So uh, Zarfox will get the plus frames. Oh, 5B is good though, and I think Zarfox can kill off this. See, corner damage is obscene. Oh, damn, just enough damage. 4.2k, and Zarfox once again on set point. But Nahim was so difficult to kill last time. We'll see. Wave is going to be uh, proven again. It is good, big wave. The trade favor is no one here. Zarfox though, on the front foot after the break. Oh, yeah, again, hitting the shield there. Nahim finally chases him down, went for the 2A. There we go, getting a hit on Zarpox, trying to clutch his way back once again, but gets hit, final counter. Fatal counter, let's see, MD activated to dodge maybe like the grab potentially. Let's see the jump back, gets a hit here. That might mean only one more touch, but it has to be a good starter for him. 
trying to fish for it. Many overheads have been blocked by Zalpox. Nahim did in the past, and now Zalpox is as well, but not the shield P in the conversion. That was the winning combo, which he dropped it. Let's see, Zalpox, Magic Pixel, no, not this time. Nahim will get a tap in the shins. That's a little bit too strong. See, can game do it, final round. They have something over the DP or oh, the falling keys as well. Everything is landing for Zarbox. The DP a little bit risky. Oh, that's the shield B here. Working out for Nahim. Going to get a lot of damage. Fatal counter starter. 4 from 2k. The air throw into the high low. Oh, the overheads are blocked. Even the lows, but that shot throw is good for Nahim. 50% life lead. And the JB as well. Leaving Sarfox now, one more touch after the scope but the drop though! Maybe trying to go for a reset, the 5A from Sarfox though, the other combo working out! Oh, he has to heat now, right? Sarfox? Are you gonna risk it? Oh, get a situation, there's more drive! Yeah, make him safe. No punish! Now, sitting in the ring, the heat barely clipping down him, the JB! But no follow-up, not a bit too far! The air dash is good, the heat now! Is there going to be enough damage though? That is the question. I don't think so. Dropping the 3C. But Zarpok still one touch away now. But opens up Nahim. This could be scary. No falling key. Mujab spend yeah, the air throw. Yeah. One more touch should be enough. Mujab into the hard drive. What a reversal from Nahim. This is going to be the game. And Nahim will be moving on to winner's finals. So face the winners against Magic Rider. What a... That, man, that was a crazy, crazy arc drive, but working out for Naheem, that is the last thing that Zarpox expected. And this last thing I expected. <laughs> Me neither, like, wow. <laughs> I was like, yeah, because he went for the 2A, I was like, oh, MD is GG. And then he was like, yeah, GG for you. <laughs> and then he just grabbed oh, him by the neck and killed him. Oh my... Naheem, actually such a... Oh, it's young man reactions. It is the young man reactions. Absolutely. So now Sporty will be dropping down the losers. So we'll uh, at least have fifth place guaranteed. So... Uh, we're getting Klops against Bershko now. There's the Sabre against the Ark. Uh, let's see who's going to win here. I think both of these players have had a short break of Melty and now they're finally returning. Of course, they, they're, still, they're still peaking. They're still such good players. Let's see what they can do though. Bershko with the other combo will convert into a combo here. Going for the reset. Klops not really biting though. Simply blocking. But yeah, the grab, you cannot block the grab. Forward teching out of the corner. This is where he wants to be away from Ark, basically. Went for the MD into the punish. Well done seeing the stagger there. Goes for some good damage, of course. Saber known for good damage on every starter. Let's see, though. Yep. Good staggers. And the, B, uh, the DP was baited here. And you don't want to mess with Klops. He will uh, do 4.5k here easy. Let's see. Four, one more touch should be enough here yeah, for uh, Klops. Ooh. Needs to get some insurance. Uh -oh. oh, okay, Rekka neutral. Bershko gets the conversion with the EX. Now both players now one more touch to take the first round. We have spent keeping up the pressure, catching Klops low, and this should be the round. Ooh. Bershko dropping but going straight into heat, going for the dive claw. Oh my god, and then Bershko with the DP. Klops trying to take back the turn. Not sure if that is punishable or not. But yeah, first with the DP. Okay, yeah, uh, grab him. We'll see how Klops is going to bring this back. Went for the shield A. First go. Looking very strong right now. Klops though, four meters on deck. When will you spend the bloody uh, moon? Button, bloody. It's always like the question of when will you try and do it. Ooh, that was a miss input, I'm pretty sure. And that is going to get him punished as well. Lots of meter on his deck though. Yeah, now Briscoe is baiting the heat out. Now Klops 
You bait a lot of heats of other people, but how about your own? Will you find the correct one? Wow! Gets a nice hit on Brisco here. Potential safe heat is available. Yeah, and he will be spending it. Spend as well. All the resources have been cashed in. Good throw as well. Klops will be using that one little bit bar here. We do see it keep up the pressure, but the DP from Bershko is good. No EX to get the hard knockdown. Rekka neutral is good, but drops the follow up. Mujak has been spent though. Rekka neutral once again into the EX. Bershko to maximize the damage. Going for another EX just for the knockdown. Setting up the left, right, even a throw. Kill. Good defense here from Klopp. The second pressure was good, but not confirmed. From Bershko, the mash from Klopp, so even more godlike. And that is going to be the round. Klopp's with 16 seconds left on the clock. Still calm, composed. Taking us a final game. A final round. Yeah. Who went for the dive kick? Should have been plus, but only if it's on block. Whiffed, got punished for it, and look at the damage already. Ooh, whiffing the grab, but again, when you whiff a grab, you are still plus. Yeah, the whiff, the whiff throw is actually plus on block. It is a built-in mix. <laughs> oh, unblockable! Oh, yeah, oh, the like shield A whiffs against the shield BC and Bershko with a perfect. Takes a mm -hmm. very, very strong round and game. Number one, Klops is in a little bit of trouble. Uh, like the sit if if I calculate it right, top seven has Klops and Enan joint on seventh place. Klops is in, Enan is out. Both players are in losers bracket, so it's technically a race. I would actually really want Enan and Klops to actually face off against each other as they started on the same points. But Bershko. May actually prove to be a spoiler for that. Oh, but the defense from Klops once again. Good back throw as well. Klops has something to say about this. Mujak has been spent for both. Shield. Oh, this is a repeat of the previous situation, but this time Klops can't capitalize, but good punish on the whip to BC here. Bam, CX. Almost 4k damage on the board. So keeping up the pressure, or oh, the 5A's are coming in from Klops, the Klops 5A. It's notorious 5A in Europe. But Bershko still fighting away. Yeah, still 3 meter on deck. But he will spin a 1 here to get Klops on the knockdown. Went for the safe jump and Klops simply blocking, but a lot of uh, cheeky plus frames on Ark side right there. I don't really know when you can finally spend it. I saw a lot of buns being mashed on Klopp's side, but it works out. Went for neutral Rekka again. And let's see. Ooh, the IDJB will catch him here. Going for the old school combo. Getting a grab here and a final touch. Uh oh. Is that GG? This, I think that's dead. First oh, call. yeah, he is. Our corner damage doesn't mess about. Bam! Huge risk there. With the re shield from Klops. Big risk from Bershko as well with the shield B, but paying out. Bershko now set point. Uh -oh. Klops, oh no, the fatal counter. Trying to escape the air unblockable, but ended up with a better result for Bershko. Safe jump, putting uh, Klops back towards the corner. A lot of chip damage has been inflicted as well. Rekka neutral, no drive has been spent. Built up bar just now. Bershko, the IAD, beats the grab, and now Klops. With one more guess to make, that's Bershko with a head of steam. Safe jump. Can still maybe go away, escaping the Avalon. But the JC is inevitable. Yeah, you definitely want to get a safe hit here. You absolutely will get that health back. Let's see what you can do with it though. There's still the threat of Avalon, but not when you simply don't block the Rekka pressure from Ark. And that potentially is a last touch situation. Not really much that Bershko has to deal with, except the MD Shield B. And that's exactly what he will be getting hit by. And that Saber going for the optimal meter building. Ooh, trying to bait a grab out, maybe. Oh, okay. Heat from Bershko. No punish from Klops. 
No meat are available, so of course a little bit out of range. Burst go down still. The heat is running out. Who do see from clubs? Oh, he's not there. Giving Burst a taste of his own medicine. The time clock is good though. Clubs dropping the combo and dropping out of the bracket. Bershko will move on. A two nil against Klops was a little bit scrambly at the end. Klops looked like they had the round, but unfortunately dropping the combo and Bershko able to bounce back and taking the game and the set as well. So Klops will be knocked out sitting at 28 points. So now, any win for Enonon will mean that Enonon will go over Klops and Enonon will be in 7th place. So now I think top 6 is pretty much confirmed. So, uh, we have Buff Saber. Rasta Magic, Nahim Zephi, Tintan and Zarpox sitting in top 6. And then we have Klops on 28, Enonon on 28. Not sure who gets the head-to-head -head between the two. Uh, I think Anana has... Is there has a head-to-head -head head rule? Yes. So, okay. the uh, the first one is the farthest. Oh, Klops won the first or second, yes. So, Anana needs to win this. Yeah, because they had the head-to-head -head rule, uh, it means that Klops, because he won a tournament, he will win the head-to-head -head if Anana loses this match against Moss, Moss, Moss. Of course, both be needing those points right now because Moss Moss Moss, if he gets, I think, first or second, he will actually enter the top eight. No, Moss no? Won zero points. So, okay, so he's just uh, okay, Moss. You Moss can, is you looking can ruin to ruin everything, <laughs> like like Bershko. So oh, this... both of them trying to ruin everything. Okay, it's I see. Cute. I see. It's, it's warming up maybe for the LCQ, and uh, yeah, it's mental to think that Bershko or Moss or both might miss out on top on top eight. But yeah, it's Ananan against Moss. The uh, the Wombo finals that did not continue. It was such a great set, unfortunately. In Grand Finals, Moss reset the bracket and Ananan DQ'd because of work. So yeah, screw that. Uh, Ananan looking uh, to... Uh, with a win, of course, Ananan will be making it into the top seven. So a very, very precious high stakes here. Moss with nothing on the line, but still... Playing as good as ever, but Enon all oh, the three C is good, and in fact Enon going for the bomb as well, so not messing about. Beautiful combo, three C scaling of course, a lot of damage, but still 3.6k shield from Moss, but does not take back the turn. Ooh, oh, oh, the stomp catches the landing. Oh my God, Moss getting tagged a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh yeah, jumped Adam, got hit by the three C, lost three C, really covering a lot of ground. Especially vertical, so any kind of jump at him, most likely you're gonna get hit. Okay, let's see what you can do though here. Moss on Moss blocking the overhead there and getting a punish. Finally, Moss gets to play double fatal counter and kicks the wrong way. And then, then with a level three here. Not that much damage, doesn't really matter. Went <laughs> for the Chad walk up, maybe trying to bait a heat from Moss. But it still worked out after the MD was activated, but Moss. Four meter on deck on his side though. Let's see what you can do with that. When will you spend it? Because this, this character as well always stays in range so you cannot safely heat. Sucks, but was able to get the touch. Not a fatal, but still a good punish on the high shield. Bends. Ooh, that's a lot of damage as well. 4.5k. Keeping up the pressure here. Setting up another ring, life lead is now no one's, but good shield on the heat. The panic heat for Enon, but Moss with the combo drop gets a reset. This should be the round. And yeah, Enon will be starting off with only the uh, bar given by Kamone. Let's see what Enon will do. Sniping the J to the succeed, though. Not a good opponent tried against the blob with those spears. Can pierce you. That is exactly what Enon has done. Chill BC was good for a boss. Putting Enon back in the corner and Vlog will not be a fan. 
No, absolutely not. We'll have to block the incoming mix. Simply goes for a safe jump into the grab and then pulls him out. But the jump grab from NNN puts Moss into a dangerous situation into a combo as well, which was dropped. Look at how safe he is. Ice Floor for the skill install. Really working <laughs> dividends as he goes for the shield on the heat. Goes for the killing combo here. It is 1 0 to NNN. And that means one step closer to staying in that top seven to qualify for the two BCU finals. So, so close for Ananon. As Moss is sticking to the Alcaha. Generally, Moss goes for the mash. So, uh, I'm not sure if uh, they are confident with the Alcaha or just willing to uh, go all the way with her. And, uh, Said. So close, but doesn't cancel. Moss taking back the turn with that 5C. Humongous damage. Or humongous reach on the 5C, but not out of damage. Uh oh. But Eran caught stand blocking. The drop from Moss will be so, so costly. Because Eran will bounce back. Will get a very good, I think, 4BC starter. That's a lot of damage. Eran will probably be likely that the other is. Alright, let's see what he can do here. And then. Getting the shield hit, but the BC will put him into the corners. Then safe walk up grab of all. Okay, MD back dashes to escape the potential punish. There we go. Saw the air shield. Knew exactly that on landing. He is punishable. Yeah, he went for the reset because he couldn't kill. So if he got like an air grab there, he would have killed uh, Moss 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 on the reset. But didn't oh. work out for him and that is going to be a round for Moss actually turning it around and then and it was a low risk but it was still a risk as Moss taking that round practice your moon drive routes all and then needed was one moon skill and the combo would have generated the bar to kill Moss now with that round try to uh, use it to bully and then good start here once again for the bread the backdash OS actually maybe a little bit too early Confirmed from NNN with the moon drive though. And to be walking us to the uh, corner. 4.1k. Oh my god, that was a scary tech from Moss. The pressure is still on from NNN, but presses into the shield, but no follow up. And NNN gets the 2A. Leaving Moss now. And they guess for uh, around the situation. Yeah, he played safe. Look at the range as well. Perfect spacing here. To make sure that Moss cannot heat. And there's Ananon on set point here. If he wins, he gets that top seven placement. If he loses, only one more chance. You what? Yeah, exactly. Oh, really? This is I'm not sure. Let me check. Uh, okay. Let's see. The overheads have been blocked. Nice so projectiles as well. Moss simply chilling in the back. He has a health lead, so you know he he can theoretically sit full screen and just shield every projectile incoming to make sure that NNN has to close the gap. Will not go for that though. NNN gets a hit with the ice projectiles, converts into a combo. Four meter on deck. We'll be spending one to get the knockdown here. Let's see if you can bait the heat as incoming. Spears. Oh! Uh, okay, still getting the EX. I don't think this will be enough to kill. The uh, combo routing will uh, negate the bar for Eranon. But one more touch, and that will be enough. Eranon with the fatal counter. Moss trying to go for the shield on the safe jump, but Eranon gets the low and will be uh, making it out of uh, of this round one of loser's bracket. Uh, apparently, Enron is still not qualified. I have fumbled my maths. Check the uh, check the check the scoreboard. We saw yeah, a scene earlier, on right? Twenty four. Yes. So I, I probably did a control D too much. So now Enron has five points guaranteed. Ooh. But you're correct. So he's lagging behind two points. So, uh, Klops. Klops is able to get three points. So now they are on 28, exactly. So because he, this 
what you're seeing is updated. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Enron needs Enron is now on 26. Because he is guaranteed five points from fifth place. Okay, so he needs the next win, basically. No, I think he needs two more. Yes, he needs two more because he now gain he's on two 20. points. He gains two points, but Klops has won a bracket and Aron hasn't. So, yeah, that but he means will be that... above Drizzy and Nahim. Or are they not updated yet either? Nahim is in. Nahim has gotten himself eight. Nahim is a winner's finest. He has eight points. So okay. He's on so he's not updated. But then there's Drizzy. So if he wins Drizzy. here, Drizzy gets pushed out, right? Drizzy is out, but Zarpox made it in. Zarpox is ninth. Oh, it's not so yeah, yes, yes, yeah. Yes. It's it's a little bit confusing, but yeah. Enanon needs third place. Enanon needs third place. Needs eight points total. So that means he will have to beat Zarpox and the winner of Rasta and Pershko. That's that's a that's that's a big task, but I think Enan can do it. He has made the winners' finals. He actually made the grand finals, I believe, twice, maybe three times. So we definitely know he has the skill set available to him to get there. But first off, we're going to see who is going to face next as we are waiting for Burshko, King Ross already in the in the ring. And as we are waiting, guys, we have not shielded this yet, but you can go exclamation mark Matcherino right now. You can claim a code. We, we haven't even talked to uh, to you guys about it, and I've seen codes being claimed. Uh, 18 in total, actually. There's only 32 left, so let's get that done, guys. Add 25 cents to the prize pool for free to give it to the winner of... Uh, actually, the top three will get a payout because of uh, Goose Jenner's donation earlier. Shoutouts to Goo. Week after week after week after week after week. With the donations as well as a donation to the coffee. I think 200 drop in the coffee, so massive, massive months. Shout out to them. Shout out to Hisui as well, who's main as Rasta starts off with the battle against Bershko. The German speaking battle is off to a good start here for the Austrian. Needle, 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 needle. You don't need anything else, just the needle. Needle against Rekka. The neutral skip battle. I saw get a get get a. Okay, so when Patrick in SpongeBob is on the ghost ship, the Flying Dutchman, he goes like little 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 little. So we should have a Roa face and him saying needle 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 needle. <laughs> so I'll make that, please. That was a very fast round one. Yep. Rasta. <laughs> round here for Bershko. Looking to equal things up. Rust of a defense here from the Austrian. Tries to go the whip. Punish. I like the attempt from Bershko. Rust of one step ahead with shield. EXDP for the left right setup. But the DP from Bershko. 2 2 input DP. Pretty much an insurance. He's just DP. Don't have to guess left right. Simply hit it. Oh, hit the shield button on the heat. And get that punish instantly. Bershko. Ooh, oh, fatal counter as well. Since he gets a conversion. Ooh, ground conversion, meaning combo will drop. Highly scaled instantly. But we go for the Yahoo! Ooh, the clash on the BC. Stop regretting that he's not younger. Could have, could have reacted. Oh, but there's once again the DP from Bershko. Looking to run away. Charging a little bit. Rasta now. One more touch should be enough. Rekka neutral gets tagged. I think that was the low. Okay, messes up the coin jump. But oh no, still gets tagged. Is this going to be it? Bershko with the OTG Rekka. Ross, a little bit of a fumble there. Had a massive life in, but gave it away. The starting off the big fate. Once again, dropping the combo. More just spent. Get the shield. Once again, now Rasta on the front foot, but then backs away. Maybe Rasta was a bit too scared to overcommit Bershko. Of course, ready with that DP on command. But Rasta should be able to get some good damage. Yeah, maybe 
scouting out the mash out from Bursko, trying to go for Areca once again to hit the range that Roa keeps using. Let's see what you can do, though. Bershko, ooh, trying to get the low in, but Kimrasta simply jumping over it. Three meter on deck. We'll be spending one here for the hot knockdown. Potentially one more touch, but oh! That was, that was so low. That was the lowest high I've ever seen. Lowest high? Yes. It hit his toes, and that was an overhead. <laughs> Last off kicks game number one. So that is uh, last time out. one more game to win. So uh, take the set. Rasta doesn't need points. He is sitting very, very comfortable at the top of the leaderboard. Okay, damage. With the pressure now, burst with the back towards the wall, getting counter hit as well. Rasta will not be able to get a lot of damage, I think, out of this. Also, very valuable. Getting Burst goes back to the corner. 3.6k is definitely really, really decent. Still keeping up the pressure. Not even with the spacing. So not a... Okay, trying to go for the rebeat. Burst goes at stag. This should be the round. Yes. King Rasta closes it out. A ghetto perfect. To set up set points for the Austrian. Looking really, really strong. Mm -hmm. Let's see if he can finish it out here. Bershko fighting for his life. Will be getting a hit here. Pushing King Rasta as far as he can into the corner. Most likely go for a cross up. Yep, there it is. One at the corner combo. Let's see. Ooh, the shield. Because he landed, the shield was instantly gone. I think the punish was there. Rasta, though, getting a hit here. Dropping the combo, but flying around like... <laughs> Like a squirrel. <laughs> not like a Sonic anymore. Not, he's not a uh, hedgehog. So though, has a lot of needles. Oh, the three C. Damn, nice punish though from King Rasta. There's three bars available. Maybe with the moose goes with that kill. But King Rasta chooses to keep it safe. There's the air throw with the life lead now. One more touch should be enough. Maybe even a couple of throws. Trying to get some chip damage. Bershko now in throw kill range. There's the needles. Damn, the jump up from Bershko. Really, really good. Can maybe sting. eat now? Sting him. Sting him. Oh, oh, but Bershko deciding to go in. And Rasta making him pay dearly with his tournament. Last King Rasta moves on in the bracket. Guarantees fourth place. Even though he doesn't need it. That's seven points to Rasta's tally. Who is now on... I mean, he's fighting for seeding, right? Yeah. 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 The more points you get, the higher you are seeded. So. That's... So now King Rasta is confirmed first. Even if Magic okay. wins the tournament, King Rasta is the first. Oh, cool. On 48 points, Magic can only get up to 45. Magic has won, has played three weeks and won two, and is now where it's fine. So, um. So yeah, that's good stuff from uh, King it's also Rasta. Fun but looking for uh i think the uh what the the, the most important storyline that we have in the bracket is mm -hmm. anana fighting for his tournament hopes he needs yeah. not just to win this match against zarpox who is really really strong player 17th at evo uh but also needs to also defeat king rasta who with this kind of form is looking mad scary and king rasta has been the uh Tournament demon for Enanon for a lot of brackets, so it's going to be really interesting. I think Zarpox and King Rasta might be the two players that Enanon has played the most in bracket, if my memory serves well. So, two very high level player matchups, and in this situation, high stakes as well. Wait, yeah, Zarpox is guaranteed to be in. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, of course, we have seen the growth from Enanon. Playing in the last 2BCU Season 6, not doing as well as you would like him to, but then in Season 7, comes back so much stronger, gets a clean opening here as well on Zarpox, pushing into the corner, and now he's just gonna run the offense. Not going to be scared of a heat yet, because it simply won't matter that much, but the staggers will be called out by the 5A from Zarpox, and then... Ooh, 
with the stacked behind hitbox will be blocked though. The 3C will catch Sawbox's IED forward. Let's see what you can do here though. One more touch will kill him. So will Sawbox spend the heat here? No, will not. MD on the fatal count. This is gonna do so much damage, pushing me into the corner. Three meter on deck. What will you do with it though? 4.3k one more touch could be doing it no shield on that but the bc forward spiked into the ground to the wall and that is putting him to the ground as well he's gonna stab getting the uh, round there for zarbox on the drive i'm eh, almost at a blockable still not getting tagged by the overhead from uh Anna from vlog big damage two almost Big jump. Ooh. JC, oh, I'm looking for the throw. Good back throw from Zarpox, but the follow up is shielded and BC'd. And just like that, Enna turns the tides, turns the tables, gets a lot of damage. 4K into the save jump yet again. This time goes for the spacing instead. Oh, and it works out. Enna should be able to take the round and, in fact, gets it as well. Fantastic stuff from the Hungarian. Swing, swing, swing. That's what he does best. Let's see, though, if Anana can take this game. Went for the jump in. No air uh, blockable setup there. Some people try to snipe him with an air to air. We'll get the grab. Both back dashing. I like it. But the projectile from Zopox winning out with that one. Let's see what Ice Wolf can do. Not much in the corner. Slimpy gets grabbed. And will we see another grab, though? Not yet, and then respecting it all. Ooh, the heat hitting the arm of CL being pushed out of the corner. We'll spend some meter to get the pushback as much as he can. Four meter on deck from Zarpox. Good MD into the shield. The MD back though from Zarpox to make himself safe. No punish there. But what will you do here? Ooh, getting a hit. Nice. The low after the overhead on the rec up. This should be a lot of damage for Enan, will not be able to close it off, but still one more touch. Even a grab will be enough here, Enan on, oh, base the heat. And this should be enough damage, no, Enan drops the combo, oh no. The pressure is. Okay, J.A. is from Zarpok, still fighting, still believing, no resources though. For the Spaniard, oh no, there's the heat, Enan on panicking, and Zarpok wanting to turn the situation around. 4.5k I think on this 4.4 one more touch now Zarpox with the life lead and Anon Moon Drive is available though oh the low shield is punished and that is game for Zarpox a huge life lead had the game winning combo as well but dropping it and Zarpox taking game number one and Anon will be kicking himself after that yeah Ooh, instantly going for the rematch as well. You definitely, I think you want to reset your mental there. Or maybe he's just not trying to think about it anymore. Moving into the game number two instantly. Let's see if you can bring the mental game back. So that was uh, something you do not wish to do any longer. With love. Walk up. Ooh, that was uh, a low-key drizzy round star, but it works out for Zopbox in the end. See what Anana can do here in the corner, though. Go for the EX and the. Ooh, the chase down into the DC. Anana. But Savage. It's a rattle by the unfortunate ending. Heat as well. Early heat. Trying to catch the BC landing. EX or EX staff from Zarpox, I think also the OTG. So the life in favor of Zarpox, but Enna is the one to press on the trigger first. He has enough meter to get the EX, but chooses to keep it. So trying to get some damage going. Block on the Keysman Draft spent from Zarpox to keep saved. The low shield fails, so that's a chip damage for Zarpox. The overhead with the JC, and that is going to be the round. Zarpox. Moving on to set point, Enanon clinging on the last hopes to make top 7. Starting to go with a fatal though. A good start, a very good start for the Hungarian. Let's see though what you can do with this start. You absolutely like this. Ice of Love with the skill install, but will it be enough? 
Oh, it might be enough. Uh, catching the jump from Zarpox. Oh, resetting the combo potentially. Ooh, nice choice by Zarpox. OTG will get some damage to it. Plus frames. And then no strong reversal here. <laughs> unless. <laughs> unless. <laughs> oh, I catch it. I think that was a jump from Zarpox. Did not land the way that Zarpox wanted, though. And the dead. Enona still alive with four bars of Magic Circuits. Also gets the punish. The big whip from Zarpox. Enona still believing, still fighting. Oh my god, the low spear is actually catching the landing. Enona finding his spot. Oh, three. That's dead, I think. That's a lot of damage. Enona has. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. I was thinking, don't drop it, and he does. That is crazy. Don't cut it. Don't cut it. No, no. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah, not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. Okay. Okay. I shield should be. Oh no! One more touch. Look at the life from Zarpox. Oh, good stuff here. And Anna dashing in. IAD. Zarpox went for the tech, and eats a big sword to the face, and that is one game a piece and on and somehow able to bring it back from being one round away from elimination now looking more composed as it's still their tournament life their league life basically on the line mm -hmm. see though and then your ice love have been doing so much but the fire of love getting the otg forward tech he thought he had the combo there but he didn't so it didn't convert into a combo. There we go. The jump grab will catch him out into a jump grab from Zarpox's oh no. side. Yet yeah, that was very meaty. Not escaping the pressure here. One more touch from Zarpox. We'll be doing it. That was one. That's the second. And he's going to oh, not take it. down. And then and we're dropping. I mean, he's, he's, he's trying to be fair, right? Uh, and then drop the winning combo twice in a row. So he's like, oh, I'll give you this one. So just like that again, Zarpox on the set point with a uh, very good round, but getting uh, caught up, stabbed up with a confirmed small OTG, still corner situation is in favor of the Spaniard, this is not looking good, for Enron once again, the attempted mash goes astray, Zarpox with the EX keys, 4.2k, but the blood heat for Enana almost got the unblockable. Oh, blood heat. Uh -oh. Swinging. Swinging too much. It does not work out for Enana and Zarpox. Only one more touch, potentially. Oh, yeah. Ooh, he tried to set up. I, I like it, but he jumped, did not MD. So no air unblockable for Zarpox here. Oh, he sees this coming. No shield. Oh, but a nice mash back from Ananan. Really trying his utmost to stay in this game. Going for a heat here. Getting some life back. Jumping in. Let's see. Oh, gets the overhead, actually. Zarpox is not blocking that one. And gets the kill here. Ends the combo. Finally. <laughs> he closes it up. Okay. Oh, my. Round. Enanon still hanging by a thread. So much resources for Zarpox. Enanon gets tagged, but it's not going to be a bad one. EX stab. Ooh, the, uh, 2B. Oh, nice punish from Enanon. Building a bot. There is Moon available as well. Not that bad of a start. Oh, got the reset as well. Intentional or not. Enanon will take the damage. Going to be building up maybe 4k. Now full screen, oh, gets the tag as well Ooh. for BC, not enough to get the full conversion though. Still, a lot of damage, the heat is caught! But there's a match from Zarpox, it is not over yet, going to be the arc drive here. Big damage for Zarpox, life lead basically even, and around with two bars, be careful on the heat though. Nah, don't be careful, this is, do it for IEDs again, do it. Oh, oh he, he gets the potentially winning hit! He only has to do level okay. three now. Oh, he does it. No, is it? Off. No. One more touch. Let's go for the five. Oh, no. The keys. Oh, the moves are spent. Doesn't get the combo. And I don't even throw it. Take it. And Enon will move on in the bracket. Hanging on. That thread is still alive. Has not snapped. Somehow. Some way. Enon is still alive. How? How the heck is Enanon still alive? I don't know, but 
Now we can say it. Enelon just needs one win. It is King Rasalot anyway. It is one win. And they will be in the top seven. Jesus. That was... They are pretty... I, I don't know how that set went like that. That first game was... All right, guys, if that doesn't make you click claim code in the Matrina right now, I don't know what will. That, so many emotions. I I could have gone and watched a movie. No, this, you have sadness, you have anger, you have happiness, you have my breath taken away because there were so many choking of combos there. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, and he still has to go through King Rasta as well to stay in the in the top seven. So let's see if he can do it. But before that, we will both go into a break because I desperately need that one. Uh, we will see you again in five minutes. So claim a code and uh, we'll see you soon.
everyone we are back with the top four i believe it is only four people left magic rider and naheem in the winners finals up against king rasta and 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 and, and this might actually become the story the bracket of Ananan as he is going plowing through the losers bracket on his way to to get that top seven finisher because if he loses now he will be out of the top seven if he wins he will be in the top seven uh but first of all we will be getting magic rider against Nahim. not sure what he's riding maybe like an alcohol trip right now but <laughs> He is. <laughs> oh, God. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's... It's going to be a... Uh, oh, wait, magic, magic? Akiha? Hmm. It's... Yes, that would have been yeah, a while since I've seen gone. Magic than Akiha. Uh, probably been more than a year. Oh, wait, no way. Nahim Roa. Do it. Yes! Nahim, change now! Change character. No! Um, but uh, the, the loser's side is going to be a little bit funny because it's going to be the leader of the scoreboard against the, the one who needs points the most. The one who doesn't need the points against the one who needs the points. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, the Akiha mirror is going to be the winner's finals of today. First to three action. Who will it be at the top? Of course, both of them are playing for some good seeding in the finals for 2BCU. Let's see. Oh, 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 that was the deepest, deepest overhead. No conversion off of it, though, but uh, what kind of outfit is Magic Rider here now, actually? I feel like it reminds me of something or someone. I just don't know what or who. It, it kind of does feel like... Yeah, it's a nice color. Uh, but Nahina on the offense is Magic Rider taking the piss by yeah, backdashing. Yeah, like back <laughs> I think so. Oof, damn, the overhead. Mm -hmm. 75 JCs oh. in a single comp. Looping. Dash up 5C. Damage. Okay. Control high low. Oh, tried to pull him out of the corner. Didn't work out though. Nahim. Dang, fatal JC though. That is uh, one of Agha's best starters. To uh, get a lot of juice out of it. 1.3k. One more mix for both will be good. But wake up our drive. Nahim did not expect that. that is round one in the books. I'm actually with a win, maybe actually going over Magic Rider in terms of points, because there's only three points in between these two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this is for uh, a higher seating spot. Let's see though if Nahim can overthrow Magic Rider here. Nice block so far for Magic Rider until he stopped blocking his saw counter, so he tried to press something. Fuzzy mashing out, but Nahim had the good frame trap ready and available for himself. Of course, again, the plus frames, again, the good blocks from Magic Rider. Nice tech as well! A lot of pressure now, Nahim. Good back dash, but walks into the 5C. Triple ring here. Not a lot of damage, so 3k. Drive spent. So now he on the blocking side, life lead is basically no one's here. Small lead for Nahim would confirm with the EX jumping ring. Nahim will not be able to get the round, but gets a life lead pressure and also get a fatal on the grab. I think that fatal was just enough damage for Nahim to be able to close it out. So now we're tied one round apiece. Red rings against blue rings. Oh, and the JC from Nahim is the one that scores first. All right, let's see what he can do. Oh, he can drop a combo, but Magic Rider falls into the ring. Really stays on screen for a long time. Ooh, jumping out, maybe trying to beat a heat potentially, but Magic Rider simply went out of it. Now has the offense and has the hit as well. But no combos on deck on this character. Oh, or BC with shield 
from Naheem. Four bars on deck. Naheem can close it out. Went for that a bit too early. One to kill. But maybe we'll go for the other command grab, which I've spent. Oh my god! Jumps into the ring like suicide time. <laughs> He's like, yeah. This is not my character. Uh, let me uh, let me go Wait, back. No. Oh, he's actually pressing rematch. Okay, okay. okay see you. I'm going off myself. Okay, then. Just like that, Naheem. One nil up. And a very good third round here for uh, for Naheem. Mm -hmm. Damn, nice double jump, but the landing is punished. Magic now will get the damage and the corner situation. Oh, the first JB is just good enough to open Naheem up. Yeah, let's we'll see though, Naheem, can you fight back from this? <laughs> there was a setup. I think he, he did expect it, but I think he also tried to jump away when he saw the low. Taking out of the ring, double ring. Ooh, and then... Get sniped out of the air, stabbed with the blood of Akiha. So I think the setup from Magic is using the jump cancel JB into the ring, pull the ring back so you can create space behind your opponent and go for a cross up. No, they, they don't create purple, their primary colors are a joke. The autocorrect on the shield, I hate that! Magic does not. In fact, get the uh, benefit out of that 4k damage. Don't go for an uh, a re jump mix, they have the punish though on the DP. He's sitting on four bars and full moon drops the combo. We are just playing with rings. The JC though snipes the ring deployment from magic. Oh no, the DP. I think that's dead. I mean, he just built three meter. Yeah, we'll be spending it as well. And gets a clear victory here. Wait, did Naheem get a game? Yes. First game. You tripping? I am tripping. Damn. Ring out. There's double Akiha, so yeah. I have no clue what's happening anymore. Oh! All I know, try to stab, the punish was there, but barely didn't reach, and then Magic Eye just said, okay, you're a finisher, let me, let me get that. That color looks like the arm drive makes you mint fresh. <laughs> Rasta. Oh, an autocorrect shield once again. Why is that in the game? Come on, you are in Europe. Please tell me an answer. Oh. Defense from him, and he jumps. Back dashes though. Oh, but into the DP. Saj. Okay, the overhead. Come on, grab. This should be just enough damage. No big drop. Dashes in, gets a throw. The back dashes will not save you this time, Naheem. Oh, getting the kick in the face said you know what your move was a little bit too short let me get that real quick dropping the combo though oh dropping the donut with the drag back did get a hit on naheem but there was no conversion off of it with a combo the blood heat has been activated but the fatal counter i think is a 5b right into a full combo damage not really optimized but it's just akiha she will just mix you for the damage Drive, but the match rather lands same side. Naheem got opened up. So put Naheem now one guess for game 4.2k damage into the follow up. Oh, the JB, another command grab. Oh, jump shield from Naheem. Sadly enough. So, if you have an Akiha mirror, right? Can they make the Olympics logo? I think they, they can have four rings. It's time for the row, I think. They can yeah. have like one normal ring and one EX. So if uh, they can draw four, not five, sadly. Like, uh, I was like, okay, you, you throw out a ring, then MD, then another ring, and then you throw out the EX ring. Maybe that makes not three. Not sure if that works out, actually. But. It is time for the main switch.
Nah, it's gonna work. I see you guys in chat. Dowing Naim is gonna work. Damn, what a waste of your singular life. That's that's so raw. So raw. Yes, it is. What could be the last game of the set? Let's see if Naim can bring it back. Not sticking to the blonde raw, the Gilgamesh colors. Then you said for uh, all black. Magic goes still with the chase down. And the EX on the ring to keep Nahim locked in the corner. Getting tagged. Counter hit. Oh, good defense on the uh, overheads. And then Nahim stops pressing buttons. And so Magic starts. Once again, another drop. Almost even blockable there. A little bit risky. <laughs> the shadow color. All right. Can make we got it Knuckles, we got Sonics, and Shadow. <laughs> But I think he's simply going to remain a shadow of his former self because that was a very clean round for Magic Rider. Chasing shadows, trying to get uh, the needles, and one of them manages to land. A lot of damage, but some 3k. A very good 3k, but the 5a on Wake Up. The heel stab from Magic. And next, let's go for a reset again. Throwing needles for BC. Another needle and unblockable. Yes, good stop there, Naheem, though. I'm getting a lot of damage. Naheem raw combos are like 3k. So, oh, stall on the shield. The delay on the jump. Shield B. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, now he is. In the no shade thrown at Nahim, it will be Magic Rider though taking it, going into the grand finals with the Akiha. I've actually never seen Magic playing Akiha, so this was the first for me. And if you're in chat, Magic Rider, I know that is an anime character reference. I have no clue which character it is, so you have to tell me. But as we wait. To see who is going to be in the grand finals on the loser's side. It will be, of course, first King Rasa against NNN. We've spoken about this earlier. This is NNN's life on the line. If he loses here, he dies in real life. Yeah, so that's online. Um, <clears throat> it's, yeah, it's the last first to two. And it could be the last set for NNN in the leaderboard. As right now tied on points with Klops, but Klops has the tournament win that dictates that Klops is ahead on head to head. But Ananan will get one extra point if he were to get third place. And that point would make all the difference as it is the losers' semi finals. Vlov and Raw. So we saw. Shadow, now we're going to see Sonic. But is Ananan fast enough to catch King Rasta? I'm going to skin you alive, damn. Words of war. Yeah, Blob does not like Roa. Oh, Drizzy handshake? Nah, King Rasta doesn't want it. Round start throw! Getting the touch as well, not the start that Rasta envisioned, but one that Ananan will gladly take. Massive damage, 4.3k into the corner pressure this is really really strong here for Ananan. he needs to keep up though this because we've seen a lot of fumbles against zarkox oh and the facing up from rasta really strong and then roa just does the rest 3.5 into the ex 3.8 to the left right the defense from Ananan, but you're being pushed into the corner oh but unblockable and okay meaty not respected and I'm loading three bars. Will be enough to kill. But one more touch. Almost a throw will be enough. Maybe some chip damage. No. Rasta trying to jump out of trouble, but created even more trouble. Yeah. In this battle of the Sims, it will be the Akiha Sim. Getting a lead here. Let's see what the Arc Sim can do. Arc Sim? Yeah, Rilla Sim. It seems for Arc. And the uh, arc kills him, like, 
The damage should be uh, 4k. The X stomp into the relaunch. Punk dashes in, gets another grab. Queen jump. No, set goes for the frame kill. Safe jump. Keeping it tight, keeping it easy, keeping it simple. The clash frames. Oh my god, the blue drag up from Rasta. The info through the moves. Arthur can kill. No, instead goes to be spending two bars, I think. EX, no, drops the last hit. Could have been fatal. Oh, oh, nice moon drive, keeping safe. Tries to punish the stomp, but Enanan on point. That moon drive was available. Will you do it? No, simply. Yes. Oh, there we go. One more touch. Oh, good heat from Rasta as well. Ooh. The safe jump whips! Or not the safe jump, rather, the super jump. Yeah, the unsafe jump. Yes. Uh, Final round, Enanan only with that. Come on, a given bar the combo, but gets a reset. Will be more damage. Which is scaling like a maximum of 3.7. And on able to get 4.1. Half life on Rasta's HP bar is already gone. Pressure from uh, Enanon. Oh, had the two way. No confirm. Trying to spend as well, but Rasta, the faster one on the three get. Rasta will get the first combo of the round. Safety as well. Yeah, let's see though what you can do with the save heat because the chip is still a factor and if you get hit, even though you're in heat, you will not recover life at all. So that was very smartly done by NNN, making sure King Rasta does not get life back, clashing through King Rasta winning out on that regard. Let's see, all tied up in health. But yes, the Oki was on Rasta's side, has one meter on deck, so I think he can kill here if he optimizes the combo. Optimal indeed. That is the first game going to King Rasta. And uh, had the life lead, had a good command of the round, but now seeing that game slip away. And that seventh place slipping away, looking farther in the distance. But Enanon uh, has been one game down against Zarpox. Let's see if Enanon uh, can bring it back. We'll drive spend, we'll drive from Rasta as well. The air throw. Not expected. Clash frames. Damn, somehow no one coming up on top. BC again. And the 4 BC. Rasta will get the combo here. I was already built a bar. Holy crap. Rasta's meter generation is outrageous. Or rather, wrong. Really wanted to hit there. Full ah. jumping for a grab. But it will be Rasta overtaking this game. Let's see, this is your life right now. And then I'm going for the heat here. And we went for the C skill as well, into the conversion, into combo. Cannot really go for a side squish. We'll do it in the end with the grab, pushing him a little bit further into the corner. With a block string there, he did manage. But Roa escaping the pressure a little bit. It's a bit of range, cannot just trick out projectiles. So scary. If yes. uh, Rasta committed to the EX needle, would have gotten an unblockable, I think. Shield B mm -hmm. to punish the 4 BC. Oh, uh, and the air unblockable should be enough. Fatal counter to boot would have been massive damage, but I don't know. Just needed 2.7k to close out the round. It's a good stuff, but getting tagged immediately. Rasta with the full conversion. But it's done with that EX needle. Going to get the corner situation now. Because Love being a tall character makes it really hard for him to be able to escape. Yep. No reversal either. Yep. Just, uh, nice half at it at 5A. On point. Ooh, dropping the combo. Let's see. Ooh, gets a hit. The punish was there. Just, uh, I think pressed up button as he was falling down, so the punish was there because of it. There we go, running the offense in the corner, of course. The only thing he really has to uh, watch out for is the oh. Oh, never mind. I was like, yeah, it's just miss except for the standing overhead. But went for a unsafe heat, got hit. One more meter, and that's Ananan tying it up. And we will be going into a last game for this 
probably most important game of this entire bracket. And it's not even... It's, this is a loser semis. This is why I like these uh, point tournaments, because anything can be the most important, right? Yep. It is actually the last game of this first to two. Going down to the wire, will it be even final game, final round? This remains to be seen, Rasta, with a phenomenal start. 3.4k into the left right, goes for a grab. And Anilant a little bit suffering, gets tagged by the left right as well, Rasta. Moving ahead of Steam as well is a huge life lead. One more touch should be enough, but shield though, and the shield a follow up, Rasta did not expect it. So, I don't know, CP maybe, yes, that it is. Going to be healing a little bit, never mind, the DP from Rasta is good. Keeping Anana in block string. Through the pressure. Don't MD, please don't. Oh, wow, okay. what a left right. Just like that, set point, King Rasta. Looking to cut the thread, keeping Ananan in the bracket. What? There's the air unblockable. Um, still fighting, still believing. Never give up. Yeah, goes for the 3C extension into the safe, Oki. There won't be. Oh! Again, just try to um, escape the pressure. You don't really have to bother, I feel like, against Blob. So, King Rasta really just trying to play his game. And then I'm not really letting him. Ooh, expecting the grab there, so he jumped away. We've all oh. done, but the backdash into the swinging swords will take the round. And this is the last round of the semi loser semifinals. And it, the, it everything depends on it for Ananon. Oh no, the high shield unfortunately landed before the needle. So Rasta will take an easy 3k damage. And on, on two bars, Rasta on Moon Drive. Oh my god, the shield it is shielded and paid back with interest. Rasta will be getting a lot of damage. No reset, but Aaron still in a dire situation. Three bars, but Rasta looking for that heat, but very good timing on that. There's the stomp as well. Okay, this will help Aaron get a lot of HP back. Getting even the life lead, Moon is available. Full screen gaming now, Rasta on four bars, good moon drive, counter moon drive as well. There's yet unblockable with the moon skill for BC. Ananon moving towards one more touch. Guess for game situation. Will, uh, will Rasta go for the blood heat though? There's a grab. One more touch should be enough. Oh, but Rasta gets the out, buddy. Rasta with four bars though. Probably safe heat now. He has to. He absolutely has to. Oh. Staggers. It's such a scary situation. Good blocks on the overhead. And Anan has no life to get tagged even once, but there's two bars. Ooh, oh, that was a win. The air, the air dash. Gets tagged by the overhead. And Anan. Oh, because the arm drive. And it's actually wins. And Anan takes the set and takes seventh place and takes a spot in our top eight. Damn, what, what a tail. Ananon. Somehow. Damn, those Damn. blacks were, those blocks were insane. Yeah. I oh. mean, in the end, so it's, it's, it's Roa only mids, right? You can just keep, uh, you can keep blocking, but if he just ran up and went for a grab, he ran up a couple of times. He could have gone on a grab and won, but Ananon, Holding faith that he would not grab, that it would simply be baits only. And he took the win right there. And then uh, what a clutch, clutch victory. Making it into the top seven. He got his victory. He won the tournament, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah, definitely the uh, the winner in spirit. As he's as fantastic said. Yeah, Ananon still has games to play. Don't know if he even is in the mood to play. But of course he is. Uh, I mean, he, he 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 must be feeling so good right now. So like, whatever happens in this game, it's fine, and that only empowers you. If you think like, oh, whatever happens is fine, you are starting to play better. Yeah. Now there's no pressure. For exactly. Ananon, so maybe it's going to be an even better version of the Hungarian Vlog 
who has made it two seasons in a row in, in the top eight. So very good stuff here, as it's going to be the, the Akiha portraits. Only one Akiha on the screen, though. It's going to be Nahi <coughs> facing off against Enanan. This was the round one fight that actually sent Enanan to the loser's bracket. Let's see if Enanan will be able to bring it back. There's no more pressure now. But it is first to three. Loser's finals. Starting off with the shield warfare. Shield is well there. And the tech on the throw. 5C on the break. Of course. Yeah, let's see if you can run the mix in the corner against Ananan. His blocks were on point, but not anymore this time. Getting hit by the overhead. Ooh, no air blockable by Nahim. Maybe the young man reactions uh, not quite there yet as he was waiting for his opponent. Ooh, the chase down grab. I like it. Only double backdash, knowing exactly that Nahim enjoys backdashing. So, grab is there after the. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Six drive spent, counter moon drive, so let's go for a throw. It's blown up, Nahim jumps a counter. Oh, the clash frames, Nahim not fast enough. I think Nahim jumped, but didn't get the shield out. So really 4k damage, save heat as well. Pressure in the corner, Nahim in a very ugly spot, gets tagged low, and that is round one. Enana bringing it back from the Nahim drop. Ooh. Checking the mash from Ananan with the anti-air search. What a distance that converts off of as well. Let's see what he will do though. Ananan with the fuzzy mash. And he says, nah, it's my turn now. Nahim, please sit back to the corner. No, not this time. We'll simply go for the offensive drag to the corner, of course. Hit so far, Ooh. oh, and, uh, it works. Oh, it oh. simply works. Yeah. Approaching 4.6, 4.5. Bonk, safe jump. Oh, goes for the JC, does not confirm it. Nahim storms out. Safety, no, set up a charge, trying to maximize the damage, even on life. So, looking to keep those resources. Use them for pressure. Moon drive spent. Counter moon drive. Walks into the sword. And it should be round for Elan. Able to confirm. That is game one. Going to the Hungarian. Good start here. And this loser's finals. First to three situation. Remember, the winner of this will go to face Magic Rider. No pressure on neither of the players remaining in the bracket. Though, because all three are qualified. Uh, yes, it is first to three. Good eye on you, Spotty Len. Let's see though. The overhead was there, but no conversion off of it. Oh, oh, getting the low there on the high shield. Oh, went for the MD to make himself safe, but not this time. We simply go for the shield A to counteract the swinging swords. Oh, jumping over. I like what he wanted to do, but the grab basically whiffed there. Running into the swords, and now we get fire projectiles. No conversion off of it. And Nahim just jumps his way in. Touch as well. No meter, though. So has to finish it without the EX, but still able to get another one. Going 4k. Into the pressure in the corner. Another grab. One more will be enough. And Alan getting tagged by the ring. Around one more to level things up. Damn, a dangerous back dash. There's a heat as well from Enanon. He will be running out. No more health to replenish though. So, uh, yeah, Nain will be like, here, has some health to uh, take back. But the heat is going to be running out. Nain still hammering in the corner. Another drop. Nain has got so many combos. Just a set alone trade. Luckily for Nahim, would have been big damage on that fatal. Nahim still able to get the touch. Sting on two bars of Magic Circus. Drops another combo. Walks again into Animal Sword. Nahim is a little bit mm -hmm. flustered. Again, a drop combo. Went for the MD inside the ring. Very smart, because otherwise he would have been countered by it. And now gets some good damage on Nahim. Once again, three meters on deck. 
and that means ooh, 3c whipping the forward tech saved him i think and now again getting a hit gets a round off of nahim and on nahim could be kicking himself though a lot of drops as money drops as back dashes for donkey hop lane which is a staggering amount nahim going in though a full combo yes but very low damage so 3k not even cross but there's the iadjb okay hot corner damage this should be some juicy damage but does not spend the ex nahim saving for the last game or the third game rather and a oh, forward wow. tag and this should be enough to kill oh Oh, oh my God. Oh, this is what he was waiting for. <laughs> yeah, and I think that was like the uh, the throw dash, so you cannot uh, break it. <laughs> so I don't know. Command grow, command grab. We are level one game apiece. Now it's the first to two situation. Jumping around. Oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> we are gaming. And I'm on. Damage. Oh, pom -pom. Oh. Yeah, now has to run the offense. Went for a C skill for some reason. I think it was a misinput. Went for the MD to make himself safe and keep the offense. Jumping in though, Nahim. Trying to get some hits in. Will you get it though? The swinging swords into the projectile. It's difficult to find a, uh, a place of where you can escape, but Nahim finds it. Gets a clean hit here into the combo. No drop this time. And now he can run the offense a little bit more. Has three meters on deck as well, but you can only use it if you don't get grabbed. Shield again, BC. Shield B will counteract it. Swing in! Again, the fatal counter. And there we go, push him into the corner. Yeah, will you heat though? And on went for the high shield, but 2BC is a low. So got tagged. Was really BCU. unfortunate. 2BC you. Exactly. Oh, Naheem. Able to punish the landing. Some good damage. Ooh, the meaty. Safe jump. It will catch Enanon. Maybe thinking it was going to be an empty low, but let's see what he can do though. The defense into the heat. Shield BC will barely catch in, and that sometimes unfortunately happens where you cross up and then the enemy will just flail back into the corner and you your your character will turn around. But that is Nahim getting a perfect on the board. All tied up here in the losers finals. Ooh, but I don't know. A big start at looking to go 2 1 up jesus guys it's still going 4.6 oh okay no punish on the uh, jump shield and around gets the moon skill shielded guaranteed punish for naheem so do not spend the ex so keeping up the pressure with heat from and around the forward tech from naheem though causing him 4k in life points the blood he is activated though from Nahim. go back into the ring into the arc right oh that reaches cage head oh look at the damage <laughs> nearly 6k off of just two two hits oh, wait did you shield the enema block mujer spent from Nahim. the defense on the overheads Nahim still hammering oh three he attempted nice jump shoot though the reactions from Enanon. Up two bars that spent probably now 1.5k. Oh, this is the low shield. Ooh, look at the chip. Magic pixel time. Uh, oh my god, Naheem! The backdash! The victory backdash! And I'm feeling himself going in for a dash 3c. Naheem getting the punish and getting also the lead in the set but it is first to three so needs one more game
All right, just jumping around. No air unblockable setup. I think it was very close. Oh, swinging the sword once again, but both will be safe. And then getting hit there low. Dropping the combo once again. No escaping with the BC. The 3C will catch the whiffed air attack. Uh, I have no clue what's happening anymore. Ooh, we're grabbing them. Oh, we're grabbing them. Plus on whiff. Keep saying it. Classic. Oh, but dash up two way. Pretty good from Naheem. Catches a start up from uh, Enonon. One more touch should be enough. Ref spell, but still keeps crouching in the corner. Here, Nash JB is good enough. Naheem now set point to eliminate Enonon. No one has been able to defeat Enonon except for Naheem this bracket. Will Naheem be able to do it again? Oh, cross up. He goes for the two way. And another sitting on four bars, but half HP almost. Is not able to finish things off before the blood heat. There it is. Yeah, goes to the blood heat. It was very risky for him, but wake up grab. We'll be catching him out. Ooh, the clash into the trade counter for both of them. Swinging his swords once again, and then uh, he simply rushes in, gets a low, and then I think could have blocked, but was still standing up. Let's see what we can do in the corner. They have to block so oh. many overheads. Oh, and then went for the command grab. Instantly overtaking it and will have enough damage. We'll spend the C spell actually. I think the grab would have been enough, but it doesn't matter because he took the last round. Three wins in a row for Naheem. He will be getting the run back against Magic Rider in the grand finals. So, uh, big stuff here from Naheem. The only player able to defeat Anana in the bracket. Done it twice, not just once. In round one and the penultimate round. It's good stuff there from the Akiha player. As, yeah, looking really, really strong yep. with Revel just two weeks to go. So sad I'm not going to be there, but yeah, going to be an amazing tournament. So many heavy hitters will be there. So, once again, if you are anywhere close to london or can make it definitely be there because yep. it's going to be an amazing multi-blood type lumina tournament as we will be finishing off with our grand finals naheem challenging magic rider again but before that please claim a code there's so many codes still left unclaimed there's 32 we haven't we haven't claimed a single code since like an hour ago this is <laughs> yeah criminal. It's yeah, pretty criminal. These players are playing the hot side right now for the seeding. Naheem against Magic Rider. Magic Rider on the fluff this time. So if you want Magic Rider to lose, claim a code. It will give power to Naheem. Because he's being a bully. <laughs> Things up. Oh, okay, Naheem. Getting the ring, not able to get the follow up though. Yeah, you have to block all of it. Ooh, the 3C will have clash with the shield BC, but swinging the swords again. The anti-air basically cannot block it from the air. That is Magic Rider getting some good damage on the board. Will this be the Vlog that beats Naheem though? So he just took one down. Ooh, went for the overhead. But he didn't charge it fully, and Naheem tried to punish it. That's why Magic Rider won out in that regard. Now the chip is going to be a big factor. Ooh, jumping over, getting the reversal. Cross up, putting Magic Rider into the corner. Akiha definitely shines in this spot here. Now Magic Rider, you have to... Ooh, I saw. Okay, okay. Did not go for the drag back circle. That's why the grab whiff and Magic Rider simply saw the tech opportunity and grabbed instead not sure if you can drag back the ex ring that's yeah, probably gone from the magic i don't think you can actually. i've never seen it pressure here from uh, nahi some chip damage on the board oh the jb is good akiha corner outs are really, really damaging 4.3k on the board Double overhead defense from Magic, but Vlog being really tall is uh, a huge nerf or like deficit. And oh, in this, especially 
matchups against characters with a lot of overheads, like Alpo, like Akiha. Mm -hmm. Because that's a good round for Naheem. Yeah, but watch out though, Magic Rider has this skill installed. Faster moves, more damage. Let's see what you can do with this uh, Magic Rider. Naheem though, I think, oh, not even on the back foot, the projectile barely spawned behind it, not active yet. And Naheem will clutch it in, getting the hit with the low, putting him into the corner. There will be an escape here from Magic Rider with the shield B. Teleporting to the other side. Ooh, and then extended his air travel time. The air mod is really uh, paying off. Level 3 to finish the job. And that's Magic Rider going 1 0 up here in the grand finals. Sable from uh, the French floor. Vleuve. 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 The Vleuve. The Vleuve. Vleuve. As Naheem goes immediately into the rematch, taking to the Akiha, the main character, looking to uh, take something from magic, swing it about them, that's a huge sword. And yeah, Lo definitely knows how to use, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of damage, 4.6, yep. Yeah, again, threatening the overhead, Naheem. Simply bucking low, we're going to the shield now. But Magic Rider has the range advantage on those buttons. Winning out after the shield interaction. Ooh, dropping the combo here. Oh my god, the whiff cancel. That was filthy. Magic. Just enough. Out of range from the 214. From the heap, unfortunate. Oh, <laughs> then once again, catches the heap to jump, I think. This was one of the worst matchups, uh, roughly, uh, like, after lunch. But uh, with, like, with the improvements of dash blocking with the buff, so Akiha, she got uh, a little bit better in the matchup. I still think it's block favor, but not as bad, especially if Akiha can get started but you will not get started by fatals damn double perfect magic rider two games to nothing naheem suffering i can't believe you're downplaying in the grand finals me downplaying i'm just saying this the the, the state of i can't things. believe you're downplaying akia ah, bro i just said she got buffs Shut up. you're up. saying it's not enough basically <laughs> I mean, it might be not enough because Magic Rider just got the double perfect. The PP. As uh, Arquid likes to say. She says, hee hee. Not PP. I feel like she always says PP. <laughs> On some of her moves. Ah, uh, blockable. Yep. Or VC. So fast. Not for VC. It doesn't suck. It's the EX. 4.2k. One. Got the pressure in the corner, one more touch should be enough, Naheem. So blocking though, big shoe, another big shoe. Big shoe. He's threatening the overhead, this is just not happening. And I still Magic Rider, the triple P in a row. Will we get a quarter P? The P, P, P. Oh, wow. <laughs> Will we get the fourth though? A really good punish on the tempted DP. Okay, not anymore. Anymore, wait, I mean, there's unless, heat, unless heat. <laughs> but you can okay, you can't regenerate that much. Boom. Okay, got a drop. So, with the pressure in the corner, so with the life lead, he though gets a stagger on those two ways. So, believing. Oh, great combo on tech 2.9k damage. Oh, 5c, the god button from Akiha. Yeah, maybe there is some life in Nahim no, after not all. Does not kill here with any hit, absolutely will. Nice usage of the ring. It wasn't a drag bag. Magic Rider saw that, but it did not actually hit Magic Rider, so he could easily get the grab. And there again, he gets a hit on Magic Rider. Nahim trying to fire his way back to reset the bracket, potentially. Blood Heat after the MD. No, press him. Oh! 
I told you to not press buttons. Get him. Uh, get him so he can auto for This game's done. Yeah, at the moment, yes, I do too. Can people hear you? Okay. Okay, I hate multi I, I love yeah. multi I love multi as well, but look at the state of things. I mean, he put himself in that state, let's be real. Oh, yeah, now he's just like, end me! Put me out of my misery, and that is Magic Rider taking his third 2BCU tournament and giving himself 45 points, which means he is uh, well into the, uh, into the top seven. Yeah, second seed. He will be only second to King Rasta. As you can see on your screen right now so your top seven final will be king rasta on the first magic rider second seed then nahim zephyrion we didn't see him today and tin tan we didn't see them today either they will be fourth and fifth together with zarpox on fifth seed as well and then there's and then, then as the seventh seed and the rest of them they still have a chance in the next week because next week will be a last chance qualifier. Yes, that's uh, a really, really interesting and uh, appealing tournament, which may feature people who aren't qualified, like Spotty, like Klops, like Calorit, like Moss, 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 like Bershko, like mm -hmm. Tumbleweave, who are not qualified. So yeah, that may be a tournament as tagged uh, it won't be as tagged as today because the players who are qualified will not be playing next week but still a really really interesting uh tournament to watch the last spot the winner will be absolutely qualified so yeah that's that as yeah fantastic showing from uh, from especially zarpox and Enanon where eight and tenth at the start of today so Zarpox managed to climb, uh, I think, four spots. Enanon got three spots as well. So very, very good stuff from the Spaniard and the Hungarian. As yep. for, unfortunately, Spotted and Andruzzi dropping out of the top seven. They'll be, uh, they'll have everything to play for today week on the LCQ. It'll be a really really interesting tournament to decide the last spot the eighth spot for the uh, second phase of yep. our uh, season seven to be see challenger league yeah and we will be seeing that very soon of course melty blood is not the only tournament that's being ran on to bcu there's also tomorrow street fighter six and then the day after will be KOF and of course on the Mondays there is the Tekken 7 so of course if you enjoy all of these games or you just enjoy Melty just be sure to follow the 2BCU Twitch maybe even sub maybe you know claim a code uh, because I see there's still no codes being claimed that's uh, a lot of money potentially being given to Magic Rider to, uh, to Nahim and to uh, Ananan and I think that Ananan actually like most of all he deserved that money. Let's be real. I think I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I give today's match arena to Enanon, but uh, he only got third, unfortunately. He still should be should have a share, but yeah, let's let's claim a code, get our support in. It's yeah, it's really sad that we have a only 18 codes claimed and like 30 viewers. We have 40 like an hour ago. Like what? Like literally, what stops people from getting code? I don't know. Can we? Is there a possibility to host the the, the stream on Match Arena and whoever hasn't claimed a code cannot watch? Because I I honestly do that. Like I don't care. It's uh, I don't it's think getting too much. Watch. It's getting ridiculous. <laughs> uh, like, it is, but let's not drag our mentality down after such an amazing tournament. We will be uh maybe rating someone i have no clue but we will be signing off very soon of course check us out next week again i think the lcq will happen next week right yes yes so i think that tournament is going to be a very exciting one as well everyone will be fighting for their 2bcu uh tournament lives essentially because uh 
the melty prize pot is pretty big let's be real 250 dollars easy and i think all the other games nearly nothing yeah i think nah, i think it's nah, it's uh, unfortunately it's a similar division but the multi community me. definitely has been the one donating the most so uh it's so sad to see the match you know, only on 18 codes but at least thanks to goo we have a big big prize pool of uh, almost 72 dollars so shout out to goo yet again week after week yep. always pulling in pulling through the donations but Ooh, 29 codes remaining actually maybe okay, they are yeah. pulling up toodles Casurio. You Zerp, thank you so much, you three, for claiming a code. You know, in the yeah. end, some someone always comes through, so you know it's a bit of money uh, thrown to their side. I think we will be signing off. Are you raiding someone, Tiramisu? Okay, so we'll be uh, raiding Sefi Black, one of the German Tekken players, of course. Again, shouts as always to Tiramisu, um, streaming this Melty tournament every single tuesday except when he's ill luckily he feels good enough to uh, still be here so rexu any final words let's see i think this has been the best uh to be see a challenger league multi-bracket that we've had like not just in this season but even the, the previous one mm -hmm. and yeah <clears throat> hopefully we see everyone who did not manage to qualify next week Going to be a really sick tournament. Everything up for grabs. The last spot going to the winner. But other than that, uh, follow me on Twitter. Follow Nick on Twitter. Follow Tiramisu, Sinju, to be seen you. Subscribe on Twitch. Donate to the coffee. Claim a damn code. But that's and all play Melty. And play Melty, of course. Play Melty. That's, that's it.